as an evil or Super Mario Brothers or something like that. And now we're live. Welcome to the Madcast, and oh, what a Bentley crew we are. Isn't that right, Sponsored boys? by Dubby. Use code MEH for 10% off. Wait, what? Yeah, we have a sponsorship, Mason. Holy shit! Really? Yes. Although they, they accept just about anybody, so it's not really special. Yeah, but they figured... said that. How am I not hearing? I'm supposed to be monitoring this audio. Well, let's pull this up here. Funny, your desktop audio is coming in just fine. That's audio properties. Says eating to be monitor. In 30 monitor off. Monitor only. There we go. Yeah. That's good. I was that supposed to be hearing the Elgato, but I was not hearing the Elgato. I'm Elgato. hearing the Elgato now, and our faces are covering up Goofy. Sorry, Goofy, we're more important than you. Which is something you will never hear, except in a uh, in a context where Walt Disney is not involved. El Perro, El Perro, es mi corazón, El Gato. Uh, what are you uh, Mason, what are you singing? It's a, a ga Alex said El Gato, so it reminded me of that song from American Dad. Oh God. Okay. El Perro. And just it's sent a message incredible. saying that he'll be there in about like 30 or 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. We'll get here. Yeah, yeah, I saw no that. Awesome him. Well, Ben, get no here. No response from yet, so yeah. we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, uh, it's not coming out. He said. You know, there was actually a uh, bit from. You ever seen the? You ever seen the Battle Toads race done by Proton John? Yes, Mo. What? You ever seen the uh, Battletoads race done by Proton John? Nope. Well, basically, what it is is that he and three other Let's Player -ers gather together or er, to race in Battletoads to see who could beat the game the fastest. Take a while to guess how well that went. Poorly. They had infinite lives. Ah. Pussies. Hmm. Gizmo, uh, the game only... Sounds like Demonius X. Uh, Gizmo, the game only gives you three continues, and I don't think they want to be there all day. There's been guys before them that beat the game... <laughs> that beat the game no problem. That was in the screw tech days. Gizmo, who do you think you are? Mike Matei? No, but serious. Mother, there's, motherfucker there Mike who, with his there giant people, penis. There, oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorry, giant. dude. You can't say penis on YouTube anymore. Well, hey, hey, do. hey. We are, let me check here. And we are six minutes into this stream. We are more than 30 seconds into the stream. We are in uh, no Steve. danger. Fucking, fucking, motherfucking, motherfucking, fucking, motherfucking. Fucking, fucking, motherfucking, fucking, motherfucking, fucking, motherfucking. Gizmo. We're gonna try and, uh. Fucking, motherfucking. Gizmo, please stop. So we're gonna try and let, uh, Ben show up before we start talking about our topics. And we're also gonna presume that, of the, uh, of the topics we have to hand today, I am the only person who has subjected myself to, uh, one of them and the only person who's had the pleasure of watching the other. And I'm going to let you come to your own conclusions as to what I'm talking about. Or an artist. What? What do you, what did you say? We're you talking about the porn artist that uh, animated. Uh... Oh no! Although we can talk about that. That's Please so, do. Uh... No, because YouTube. Uh, is oh no! Wait. First yeah. off, first off, Invincible season two it was yes, announced yes. via teaser and. It looks Thank really God. good. It's only it's only been almost two years. And guess what? It's actually lampshaded by uh, Al by um, Alan. Yeah. You know the alien. I'm I'm really I'm really fucking glad that the damn show is coming because and don't take that the wrong way because the preview was animated by a by a uh, porn Four animator. Yep. Yes. Absolutely based. And I am. 
seriously looking forward to how this person portrays Adam Eve. Oh god. Let me guess. Let me guess. You're gonna you're gonna wanna see some cake. Everyone wants to see Ooh, cake. Yeah. The thing is though, they changed Adam Eve's costume just, just slightly enough where it's not as revealing as the original. Oh that's no fun. It but really, it, if it I, but hang on. If it's if it's tighter in certain places, it'll be more revealing while being less revealing. Sure, but you know how uh, the U.S. is when it comes to anything comic books right now. I mean, Adam dude, Eve was clearly curvy and got that leotard on, but when they dude, brought Black her Widow, well, they said Black Widow was trying to avoid the male gaze, but that film was full of oh, ass dude. and crotch shots of the female cast. Yeah, and that movie failed because of shit. And titty shots too. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's like. Like with There's the, a reason with the why anime those is girls are wearing ass the comic book industry. And meanwhile, comics like, were and meanwhile the people the were writing skin they were showing was irrelevant. <laughs> it's like indie comic books, anime, and French comic books are the only ones that people are caring about nowadays because people have already fucked over Superman. I mean, does anybody Iron actually Man. care about French comics? Because I think Razor Fist is the only person. And who keeps talking about them? Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd is British. Razor Fish, you mean Asa's buddy? Yes. <laughs> Alex, Judge I don't... Dredd is British, by the way. Alex, I don't oh, mean to disturb you. Okay. Alex, I don't mean to disturb anybody here, but my space invader is try trying actively to push me off the couch. <laughs> oh. It could be a Nicaraguan comic book. The point is that these... Comic books it's... from other foreign places are kicking U.S. comics' ass right now. Oh yeah, obviously. This is like this is a situation where everybody knows that the American comic book industry has been failing. Like, like the American comic book industry can barely shift a hundred thousand units. Meanwhile, well, manga is shifting over a million. And people are like, "Oh no, it's Carl because of digital sales too." No, no, nope. if that was the case, that's not how that works. If, if that was the case, manga would be, you know, literally printing less copies of their top sellers right now. That's probably why SJWs hate manga. Well, they hate it because they it's hate... everything. For one thing, it's successful. For everything, it's for another, it's everything that they claim to be and more. Or and it's and it actually does things well as opposed to them, and because like the people who make it are actually trying to to. Maintain a fan the base. audience that actually reads them. Yeah, they're appealing like, to the people who want to read the damn comic. They're not trying to appeal to some ethereal wider audience. That's some. And you never but, but see apparently that's a, a bad thing. You rarely, if ever, see a uh, a manga selling out to try and appeal to a wider audience. You'll see an anime sell out to do stuff like that, and indeed, I mean, I've seen several anime. Do, well, they're selling out, and then they're selling out. Maneuvers to the source yeah. material to try and appeal to an audience that, let's be perfectly frank here, wasn't interested in the first place. Which is the sure. gamer gay references. Well, I, I was talking ah. more about how like like um uh, the redo of Healer anime was like like it it that felt it more was like more extreme time. in some ways, but it was also like less extreme and less in depth and ultimately be worse than the manga and light novel that it was based on so yeah like, i have kinda... actually read the like, manga the online does appeal to, you know i've actually managed to read the manga of redo of healer online it, it's kind of odd comparing the two considering both of these feel like they're not they are not just so just to let everybody know these are not hentai but because of how they're drawn and how it's animated and how everything goes. It feels like this is just hentai someone found and just said, you know what, I'm gonna go for a different camera angle and then there you go. Just call it an R-rated anime. This isn't porn. Well, yeah. It just it just feels like censored porn. And I know it's not well, the considering, manga. considering I read the manga too and they don't show anything either, but it just feels like they just took, took some... Well, the manga and the light novel were were like, um, so the manga and the light novel both had these things where they'd focus on different things, uh -huh. and so there were some scenes where, in the light novel, where there was like 
more action, more focus on, on like, whatever the, uh, the weird skill of the week thing was. And then sometimes there was, like, in, in some scenes there was more focus on the sex scenes, and then, and it, in the anime, uh, sorry, in the manga, uh, there, there were also things like that where it was, like, like, different... It wasn't consistent, like, what was per, what was given more screen time um, in which in which format. And then when you have the anime where they, like, it's, it's practically a greatest hits of stuff that happens in the, uh, in the manga and light novel. Well, and then you have the, some stuff of where they've, they've cut down some of the sex scenes, they've cut down some of the action scenes, they've cut down on some of the other stuff and then the stuff they've given more screen time to is just nonsensical which is part of the reason why we stopped watching that over on comics for all because it just wasn't wasn't that great it, it was it better it, to just it just wasn't good yeah it was better to just read the um the manga or the light novel because they were so much further ahead and so much higher quality generally that it was it was just just a more enjoyable experience altogether because like the the anime would go for um stuff like like it was trying to be more sometimes it'd try to be more titillating thing and cut out a bunch of uh cut out a bunch of action but then the the sex scenes would just truncate quite heavily as well so like it it just didn't it didn't make a whole lot of sense also in, kind in of that regard funny. I think it's quite quite a bit like the Harry Potter books uh, versus the movies where or the stuff they gave more screen time to who was baffling because things yeah. that should have taken in like five seconds wound up getting drawn out to like five minutes and then stuff that should have been like a half an hour got chopped down down to five minutes but that's Warner Brothers for you Nobody knows wasn't, what the fuck they're doing over at that company. Wasn't J.K. Rowling involved in most of the production? Man, you'd think so. But, but then, no. then, like, when they yeah. when they go ahead and make the Fantastic Beasts, yeah. Fantastic Beasts movies are, like, way longer than the Harry Potter films with, with like, less to tell, you know? Huh. So either... I, I, I get the feeling that they either are, like... They either lied about not her involvement in in it, or her involvement was um, or she was like uh, kind of overruled on certain things by executive meddling, thing because that's certainly something that happened with everybody involved, writer, director, or etc. Because sure. like there's there's just key scenes that are completely key to the plot that are left on the cutting room floor. And then... Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I think uh, a third option would be like... Everybody involved could have just been fucking stupid. Because if Rowling approved the scene where... approved cutting a bunch of the scenes from... Uh, Philosopher's Stone and Goblet of Fire or that were actually nah, not not Goblet of Fire, Chamber of Secrets or hell, well, let's talk about uh, the third movie for a second there's a whole bunch of original material for that, for that movie that is left in the film that serves literally no purpose and does not contribute to the plot and a bunch of plot relevant stuff that's cut out of the film entirely. Like what? Uh, Sir Cadogan. Sir Cadogan. Mind who that is again? Okay, mm -hmm. he is the guy who they got to be. He's the painting they got to be the um the Gryffindor portrait after um the fat lady got slashed. Oh, he's oh, just okay. removed from the home video version entirely. His huh. scenes are included on the TV version, but if you watch, if you watch it on in the, if you watch it in the theaters or on DVD, he's just not there. 
So it kind of looks like um, Sirius Black isn't all that quote <laughs> serious, no pun intended, about sure. trying to get into Gryffindor Tower. Because it feels like it just kind of gives up at one point. Jordan it, McCall, it removes a sense of you need to clean dishes. Yeah. Says. It removes a sense of urgency from the plot because things like him, him uh, showing up quite frequently is part of what lends lends itself to the uh, to the overall whole um, feel of that book. Right. And then and the, his scenes being his, a bunch of his scenes and a bunch of um, Lupin's scenes were all, were cut. Upon the bed. Quite extensively, and um, it's just—it doesn't make any sense because he and Lupin and are supposed to be you know, like the big, the big two in that. You and they have Lupin? a lot of history. Not they have Lupin. A bunch of, yeah, Lupin. No, Not Lupin. Remus. Remus Lupin. The Remus Lupin. Yeah. Mason is thinking Lupin the Third for some reason. Yeah. It, they're, pronou they're pronounced well. It's sort of pronounced the same. It's pronounced Lupin for Lupin the Third, but it's a tomato tomato kind of thing. Yeah, because it's a French <laughs> pronunciation. Yeah, and it's spelled the same too. Yeah. Lupin yeah, the Remus Third. Lupin, not Arsene Lupin. Funnily enough, Arsene oh. and Lupin it is a is the main character's persona in Persona Five. Huh. That's cool. And he Didn't played... they make a movie based off of Arsene Lupin? Yeah, yes. So, Lup Lupin the Third is based on the French novel, well, uh, the French novels of Arsene Lupin. Arsene. Arsene? Oh, I thought it was spelled A-R-S-N-E. It is spelled, but it's pronounced Arsene. Oh, well, fuck the French, then. You think they'll ever make a live action loop in the third movie? God, go, I hope honky, not. Honky, honky, honky. There's That's nobody who could. There's nobody alive who could play those characters. Um, and I had a like dream cast. Of the, I had a dream casting for that movie if that ever was the case. It was uh, Keanu Reeves for Jigen and a Jim Carrey for Lupin the Third, but. That's not gonna happen now, considering. You know, yeah, that would have worked 20, 25, 30 years ago, but yeah, that, that nowadays, is not happening today. It is not happening now. Yeah. Maybe you could do like a Man of the Iron Mask style film with them. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I haven't seen that movie. No. Okay, so the Man in the Iron Mask is um, it's the Three Musketeers movie, but the the Three I Musketeers are, in that, I are all are all Jeremy old. Irons. Yep. Yeah. Or Jeremy hold on. Irons, Leonardo DiCaprio. Or hold on. It's, it's a fantastic movie. It's one of my favorites. No way, hold on. I gotta it's do really fucking good. I gotta do the thing. Yeah, da, 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 da. Like it Who did who's It was one of those straight. films that, that showed me that you don't have to necessarily have uh consistent consistent accents for all of the characters for them them to all be giving like a really good performance. And it's the exact contrast I use uh, versus um, the Paul W. S. Anderson Three Musketeers film, because um, like you have all that. You could also use the uh, the Disney Three Musketeers film from from the nineties too, or the one that most recently a, came out, like at twenty twelve or so. Oh uh, yeah, that was the one that I was comparing it to. Yeah, I so, like that. So you have the. The Disney Three Musketeers film that has like Charlie Sheen and Chris O'Donnell and um and uh Kiefer Sutherland in it. What's in this? And uh Chris O'Donnell, that's he was Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Charlie Sheen and, and Chris O'Donnell was actually in a TV show together too at some point. Yeah. Dang, he still has that Robin costume. Yeah, two and a half men. Why? Fuck, I was in it. I'd keep that costume. Yeah. Too, I, I sure as hell wouldn't. 
Dude, that looks badass. The, the bat nipples? I'd keep that costume. The bat nipples? Are you kidding me? Yeah. That is one of the most badass Robin costumes. I don't I've care. Seen. Look, look your nipples. Nipples or no nipples, I'm keeping the no, costume I'm keep... I got to play a superhero. No, and I could no. have super. I could play Superman, and Superman can have like a super, um, a super cod piece in it, and I'd still keep that fucking costume because I got to play Superman, and that's my memento of me playing Superman. And no, no, no. The reason you'd you'd keep that costume, it was just so that you could uh, boast that you had a massive schlong. There's actually a bit super around schlong. that. There's Get actually the terminology a right. Funny thing about that, there's actually a lot of debate of how big uh, Superman's dick is every time they made a live action movie. Nobody cares. Superman stroking is all I was. Dick. All I was saying is that, uh, like, there you can compare. You can say like, okay, okay, let's let's watch the the older Three Musketeers films and and say, hey, okay, this is our this is going to be our benchmark. These characters do not have consistent accents in this film, but it's still a really good movie. <laughs> Excuse me, you can sit down and watch it. Great performances from everybody involved. Well, the, even though, well, like, we have American accents mixed in with British accents, mixed in with people trying to pretend that they're French and things like that. And then you have Paul W.S. Anderson's Three Musketeers film, which is just a travesty, and, it, and it's like, okay, it is clearly not down to the the accents because if because the the people yes it's immersion breaking but your immersion then wouldn't matter if you actually believe that this film was halfway was halfway good and then then like okay but yes boo boo on boo finish your thoughts Alex boo boo I'll snap. Oh, I just wanted to go. Gizmo, are you doing your drunken punk impression? Alex. Get in my, my skull. Oh, God. <laughs> 50 oh, show, God. If, in, if, if, if only y'all knew. 50 Cent comes in. Where's my skull? Oh, God. Oh, oh hey, Ben's unmuted himself. Uh. Now the glue of the finally knows. Oh, I am John. Good to meet human. Then I will. Then you know what Come happened. On. What happens exactly? I don't understand. You lose admin privileges if you keep doing that. It's a joke. Oh, come on. I don't Get care. <laughs> you have red hair. All right. Um, where did Alex go? He kind of vanished as I was joining. I think he's taking a dump. I oh, don't know. No, he's still here. He might be having connection issues, too. Uh, oh, I hate when I have to. I think so. Gizmo, you've that had connection issues, too, but... <laughs> but that was... God damn, it was, was more, it was a lot more clear because I would get, like, kicked out of the, like, the... Uh, excuse me. I would get kicked out of the voice chat. But he's still in here. Yeah, like... Yeah, there you Damn, go. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, the there, there he goes. He, he lost probably had a solo. Four He'll out, be bro. back. He'll be back. But goddamn, Kevin, if, if only you knew about the Asa drunken punk drama. Man. I usually be like stream. I'd be streaming a game right now, but uh, the next game I promised to stream would be was Silent Hill: Shattered Memories on the Wii, and you know, having a horror game like that while I'm doing a podcast, it seems a little off. Oh, he's on his phone, so Alex might, uh, he, he might be coming back very, oh, yeah, very yeah. shortly. I'm gonna play some Resident Evil. Well, oh, you don't want to talk about the uh, topics yet? Not yet, not without Alex. You can oh, talk right. about oh, he's right typing now. something. He's typing something. Oh, she's typing! <laughs> She wait, Alex is trash. Yeah, and I just now? lost my internet. Uh, yeah, we know. We know. <laughs> yeah. You you just said she. I, I I guess that wait, Alex is trans. Holy shit! Yeah, it was gender. Hey, we know. I said we know, not she know. Oh, he's oh. a femboy now. <laughs> just like Blink. Oof. 
still fucking funny. Like, Nintendo outright, Nintendo outright has like a copyright, whatever the fuck, on a porn artist that's sexualizing Link and making him into a femboy, and people are joking like, oh, so this means that him being a femboy is canon now. Just like how Bugs Bunny is a struggling rapist. Or how uh, Bowser's got a barbed up head a dick. Or how XJ9 actually got fucked by uh, rock people. Yeah, it's so weird the stuff that they try to copy. Or, you know, no, copy no, 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 I'm, I'm dead serious. Like, by oh, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I heard about that. I heard about that. It was like it was they added the line from that uh, uh, adult animation, put it into like Nick All Star Brawl, and then they took it out when they realized where it was from. Like a dumbass. It's the line from the show. That's what it's I said. So like a dumbass. And metallic. That's actually. It's actually a line from the show. That's why I said like a dumbass, because they don't realize that it's a line from the show. And God just because, damn. They, only, just because they, they remember it from being from an adult animation, they think it's from that and only I'm that. He's back! He's back! So how bad He's was back. it? Oh, thank fucking God. Okay, well. Brainstorm? So what happened? No. Excuse me? Did you have a rainstorm in there? Currently, it's snowing around here. You know, that thing that most people don't have. I, I miss the snow. Yeah, we rarely snow. have snow around here, but... I wish it snowed here in California. I wish it snowed here in Texas. I hate well, the you snow. You really fucking snow. don't, dude. I hate the rain, and I hate the sleep. Man, I sure do hate the snow. By the way, I don't even know what I was saying, did you? Oh, by the way, oh, by the way, um, Gizmo, power went out earlier while I was away, so what the. It, does anybody remember the Tobuscus hot uh, ode to hot uh, under the tune of Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh shit, Tobuscus! Oh, Did his name ever get cleared? Uh, good question. Well, I don't Tobuscus. know. Uh, Tobuscus was Holy accused shit. of sexual something, like uh, sexual like, misconduct. They something? did him so fucking dirty over some bitch on Tumblr. What happened exactly? If it's on Tumblr, I'm going to immediately think that it has that, it's, that whoever is posting it is full of shit. Either it's full Some of shit or it's full of shit. Granted, granted usually I'd be against something it. like that, but it's fucking Tumblr. Or Tumblr is Tumblr and is YouTube the it. most easily offended sure. website. Was so the the girl that accused him was full of shit then. Yes, but everybody believed it anyway. That's the that's the fucking stupid part. Did she show, like, fake receipts or something like that? Like, fake uh, DMs or whatever? No, she just said, oh, he raped me, and everybody fucking believed it. And then, was she charged? Because that's something that nobody should be getting away with. I, I don't know. I hope she's getting charged. Nobody should... People should not be getting away with that kind right. of shit. Alright, um, before I mean, we people, start, people Alex, do... are you streaming again, or are you... He's here. Yeah, I'm streaming again. I got it. Okay. I got it all worked okay. out. So before I start the topics, I wanted to read two things. First off, the Steam, the Steam Switch Deck. Someone made Steam Joy Cons deck. of the Steam controllers for the Switch. Ah. Huh. huh. That's actually it's uh, really cool. Actually, I don't know how to feel about that, considering your that touchpad is now kind of completely useless. No, they they apparently they can be used for the Switch. Or for what though? Games. You got two. I don't know there. how. It's Genuinely, probably like an adaptation, how... and you can. I'm gonna guess that you could probably switch it between the uh, between the D-pad and the uh, yeah. Joystick. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. What the fuck? That's really cool, though. I have to say. You would have to buy, play some very specific games then, you know, point and clicks, uh, city simulate, city management games. You would have to play, 
you would have to play very, very, very specific games to be using right. that that pad. You know, it's like it's like using the zapper. Yeah, you, you can only play like uh, light gun games. You know, if you use like a, a DDR pad, you can only play a certain. Well, not only you can play certain rhythm games to to use that thing. This, I feel like you got to use it for like specific games like point and clicks or city. I feel like this could work with a lot of games depending on uh, maybe, one, but... but you really have to be for specific. Like I'm sure if someone's gonna. I don't know. The Steam, I'm sure the, someone's... the Steam Deck controller works with most games, so I don't I'm see the sure issue I'm... with which ones. I'm sure someone's gonna find a way to like use the touch pads for Overwatch or a fucking Street Fighter, because considering people have been yeah. using fucking steering wheels and Guitar Hero controllers for fighting games in Overwatch, you know that wouldn't surprise me. But if someone were to just play regular video games that they bought. Or, you know, sell the seven seas for. Uh, they would really have to look for specific games to play that, man. That's just, yeah. you know, it's just, that's why I don't I think. I don't see the issue, of... honestly. You never well, do. Well, that is the issue. That, that's the thing. You Again, you have to, look, it's one thing if you're given a controller and it works with everything. You know, sir, sure, there may be jank in some controllers, but you can at least find a peripheral yeah. for it. That's the thing, though. You have to use that peripheral for that game to play it properly. This, the D-pad... It's got the D-pad, two joysticks, face buttons, shoulder buttons, like any other controller should. The, the that that touchpad, it's sort of like a, a like a touchpad on a Wii U tablet. You really gotta look for specific games to use that. I feel like what they're gonna do is that you'll use it for the right stick, like it'll be programmed to do the right stick stuff. Yeah. Well, they, have, they have one on the left and the right know. side of it, so. Yeah. Stress, I guess we'll, we'll know more speed. details when they reveal more, but you can yeah. order it right now. What even is this? Like, I'm, I'm looking at this thing, and, uh... Basically, someone made switch, uh, made some Joy-Cons that uh, look, uh, click and on the uh, they look like the... the click... Yeah, they look like the, um, the fucking and the Steam Deck. Yeah, yeah. yeah they look like the Steam Deck, yeah, but, but they like... Joy-Cons that connect to the console. Is that what this is? Because it yes. doesn't... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look okay, the, look I'm looking look at, at this, and it's like, look at the website. You'll see them separated from this uh, switch. The closest you'll get to a Switch Pro, the site says, bait and switch Damn. deck. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Clever. Uh, I'm gonna read this. Yeah. This is funny. For years, countless blogs have clicked bait millions to believing that a Switch Pro was just around the corner. One Switch Lite and a Switch OLED later, we decided to tackle the problem ourselves. After stockpiling a considerable amount of ammunition, our lawyers quietly remarked how they would prefer if we abandoned the mercenary plot and instead went back to the shameless plagiarism. Unfortunately for the blog writers, we know how to multitask. <laughs> Kill switch case, kickstand, and skin. And where are these fucking Joy Cons? Because it doesn't look like. You, it's literally right on the site. You see them separated from the switch. Back skin, front skin, trackpad skin, and microfiber cloth. Uh, yeah, but it says what's included, and it doesn't say. That the actual Switch Deck stuff is included, though. No, that's what it says. Our previous Steam Deck case when the essentials a case skin and a. That's weird. I assume it does. I'm looking yeah, at the don't images. Assume that's that. what it looks like. Yeah, even like the case has like the Joy Joy Con stuff on it, so I assume it does. I mean, they wouldn't sell it without the controllers, man. That would be stupid. Well, you'd think that. True. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my GameCube Joy-Cons. They're not gonna ship until the end of February. Let's go. Uh. Oh wait, yeah, there's more stuff to read. Yokoza 1, Italian 0. <laughs> but performing competitive research for the Switch deck. Our first input was to naturally to infiltrate Nintendo's Koto's Fortress. After hiring an Italian plumber, he provided him with two things, an adhesive-backed mustache and a plane ticket to Japan. 
Perhaps it's no surprise that his body was later recovered from the Tokyo Bay. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's... We've had Yuxua problems for a while now. In any event, our backup plan seemed to work just fine. Take a Nintendo Switch out of inventory and rip it off. Checkmate Miyamoto. <laughs> Give me hmm. This has great sense of humor, but yeah. Um, on to the next topic. Let's make these quick. Um, I want to read this first, though. It's about dog. And this, this post went viral. Yeah, I'm going to post this dog. image. I'm gonna post this image. This, this dog was posted for adoption, and the way they describe this dog is genuinely hilarious. So I'm gonna read this. Hello. Uh, this is from the. I can't read that name. The SPCA. It says, We've become pros at writing animal adoption posts. With the adorableness we encounter daily, we have tons of material. Sometimes we can sugarcoat the less than desirable traits, like prefers to be an only child. This one stomped us, though. We don't actually have too many nice things to say, so we're just going to come out with it. Me or Alfie? At first grant glance, he's an adorable, highly sought-after young dog. People should be banging down our doors for him. We promise you that won't be the case. Ralphie is a terror in a somewhat small package. What could go wrong with a 26-pound uh, dog, right? For sure, you're thinking, my ankles will be just fine. We caution, proceed at your own risk. Our best guess is that Ralphie's cute face got him whatever he wanted and the boundaries are something we've heard people talk about, but they didn't apply to him. His first owners took him board and trade, but the relationship was built on the, premi on the premise that Ralph Ralphie oh, was the boss, so things ended abruptly. He was rehomed two weeks into his this new home, and he was surrendered to us because, and I quote, annoys our older dog. What they actually meant was, Ralphie is a fire-breathing demon and will eat our dog. But hey, he's only 26 pounds. <laughs> Lots of people withheld Ralphie's blessed and desirable trait. But we're going to tell you all about it. He's a whole jerk, not even half. Everything belongs to him. If you dare test his ability to possess the thing, Wrath will ensue. If you show a moment of weakness, prepare to be exploited. Sounds fun, huh? The ideal home for Ralphie is the mother of dragons, or an adult home free of other animals, with an owner who will lead him calmly and sternly, putting up with zero crap. On the bright side, Ralphie's previous trainer will provide his new adopters with training tools they believe he needs to be successful in a home. Serious inquiries only. No, who oh, no. We will not make exceptions. No takesies backsies. Kidding, obviously. <laughs> Give us a call if you're cra that crazy. <laughs> okay. I love that. This Let me... is freaking dumb. Uh, I am just going to pull this image up on the stream quickly. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Shit, okay. I'm playing a game right now, so oh. I won't be able to see it. Puppy. You're good. No. So now to start with the actual serious topics. There we go. And, uh, let me know when you're done showing the image, and then I'll, I'll start the depression. Yeah, we're done. We're done with the image. So now... Now we're going to talk about, we're going to preempt the uh, stuff that we had planned otherwise. Yeah, also, we're going to... There's one on the list that I didn't include, and uh, we do need to talk about this, because it's uh, pretty well, devastating. First off, first off, we need to talk about Velma. Uh, oh god, no, oh, no, we're not talking boy. about that. We're not giving that show attention. Yes, we are. Yeah, but I'm no, the only not, person no, we're not here who has views. So there's no. only one. There's so only, only one person here who has actually watched this piece of trash. Why did you and watch I... it? Wait, wait, Do wait, 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 did you uh, use your streaming service, or did you sail the seven seas? <laughs> Implying I have HBO Max. Okay, good, he pirated it. I, oh have, my God. I have not had HBO Max since, well, since the Snyder Cut that was released. I, I watched it then, and then, well, I had a free trial, so. 
You didn't even. God damn it, Alex. At least pay for it. I, watched, it. I had a free. Tr I don't pay for streaming services. At least pay for I get Amazon stuff. Prime free. I get Amazon Prime free with my Prime membership. If I wouldn't use it otherwise. I refuse to get HBO Max ever since they uh, removed a shit ton of cartoons from there. Yeah, oh, they yeah. removed a shit ton of cartoons and they put Velma on. That's yeah. And Velma, by the way, hey, for everybody who was saying thing that people people hate watching it got it renewed for a second season. No, Velma was no. already announced to be at least two seasons before yep. it was even released. Yeah. I can, I can explain that. I can explain that. So for those Mindy wondering... Mindy Kaling's parents are rich. Next question. So, no, uh, Velma it, is awful. There's a funny thing about Mindy the show, Kaling though, that we, we, we are... Uh, there's a funny thing that we're all either forgetting or just don't know about to, that's uh, pretty funny about Velma, though. Uh, you know what rating Dragon Ball Evolution is? Yeah, it's lower than Dragon Ball Evolution yes, yes, on IMDb. Even Evolution. the official, even like the official voice actor for Velma tweet about it's like jinkies. Actually, yeah, it's one of the biggest yeah. actually, uh, on the actually, it's a uh, Gray Delisle, the voice of Daphne. Yeah, yeah she's one of the biggest SPWs no, on the planet. Nobody fucking likes it. this show. That's that's the funniest thing. Like like uh, Saber Spark did a video. Oh, and he's just, and he's like, who the fuck is this show for? Or and yes. uh, Critical Drinker did a video, and he was like, who the fuck is this show for? And Waller did a video, and he's like, who the fuck is this show for? And he also tweeted like a short video where um, uh, Shaggy, where Casey Kasem Shaggy was saying, like, we had a good thing going here, you stupid son of a bitch. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> fake you thing, like. Yes. Yeah, I saw that. That was fucking great. And was, yeah, uh, <laughs> I also oh there was a there was a fake you clip of uh of Shaggy he railing on the on the show. Oh, and the funny thing is, there's no reason for this to be called for this to be anywhere yeah, related to right Scooby Doo now. because Scooby's not in the show yet. Yeah. We'll we'll get to that eventually, maybe. And uh, the characters are nothing like they are. In, in other Scooby-Doo media. And it's... Yeah, not even comparable. Like, Norville, as he's known, he is... He doesn't... He's a deep-voiced black guy who doesn't do any kind of drugs. He doesn't have any weird speech things. He's not a vegetarian. He... He doesn't... He doesn't do shit. Like, he's nothing like Shaggy. Like, he's not a fucking... He's a fucking simp. Ch Shaggy was a fucking chick magnet. They didn't even need to try. Well, yeah, the, the characteristics are cool. completely fucked up, and it doesn't make any sense why this is called anything related to Scooby-Doo, except for the fact that they wanted to coast on a certain level of name recognition. And, and there is... There is... You, you'll never hear me say this, except in this regard. There is a very strange level of nudity in this show. Yeah, yeah there it's is like... There's a strange level of nudity and violence in this show, and that's something you'll never hear me say. It's like, like, there's too much sex and violence in this TV show. Well, and it's like, like yeah, there's, there's too much sex and violence in this TV show, because like, there's no... There's no purpose to it. It's not. It's not sexy. It's not provocative. If it's not thought-provoking, there's nothing going on here. Sure, that makes that makes you wonder what the. F it just makes you wonder why is this here. Sure, the conclusion, the inevitable conclusion that you come to is that it's there to grab headlines and be like, "Ooh, aren't we edgy?" Like this is a, a TV show, oh, from fucking 10, 15 years ago. Oh, it is. We, we've seen all of this. We've seen everything that this show has to offer, and then some in, in funnily enough, anime from 20 years ago. Yeah, like, a lot I of anime remember. have a better, have a better fit there with are, than violence. There are anime TV shows, there are TV shows and OVAs and movies from over a decade ago now that are more provocative and, and edgier for their times than they are, are for, and, and even for modern times than this is. 
this is trying to be like, ooh, who like wink, wink, nudge, nudge, aren't we pushing the boundaries? Ha ha! Uh, that kind that of thing. Too. And it's there are no jokes in this. It's not funny. It's Ghostbusters 2016, not funny. Like, like to the point where, her, like, you'll you'll have a hundred things where, dude. yeah, you'll have things where you're like, like, is this supposed to be funny or is this supposed to be, you know, like, are we supposed to like find this cringeworthy? Is this supposed to be, you know, like, what is this supposed to be? And it's not. But anything, and uh, so, so Velma is biz the, the character of Velma is like bizarrely antagonistic, and yeah. uh, God, to the point yeah. to the point where her it baffles the mind. Um, she's bizarrely antagonistic, like, and like in the opening sequence of the of the first episode, literally beats the shit out of Daphne with a crowbar. Her, and then everything's just okay, hey, because she was just kidding, yo. And then, uh, like, one of the girls, prank they go to her locker, huh? I said, it's just a prank crew. Oh, uh, literally. That's what that was. Yeah, that is literally something that happens in there. Her is like, like, oh, I'm, I'm just uh, playing a prank. And then and they go to Christ. they go to Velma's locker, and uh, a dead body falls out, like this is fucking Death Spa. And, uh... Like, nobody is operating on any level of logic. Uh, Daphne's, Daphne's moms, because Daphne is now Asian, and, and like, she goes back and forth between looking, uh, looking like a regular human being and looking like an Asian caricature. I'm not even kidding. I, I fucking wish I was. Oh, I got an AP up. That's cool. I'm gonna give that to Sora. But yeah. All for uh, Sora. Daphne goes. Daphne goes back and forth between looking like a regular human being, thing who you wouldn't, who, who, funnily enough, has orange skin. Like, like they they say, oh, as an Asian American, and it's like, like really, I couldn't tell tell you were Asian. And there's no, you don't have any. And then you go to like, the the shots where. She looks like, uh, um, she looks like, uh, Mickey Rooney in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, I said, what and it's like, yeah, that, that's, so kind. that was so what so came cool. to mind, too, if you do so something, so and, uh, like, it's, it's, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is supposed to be a progressive show, allegedly. And then it's got all this absurdly racist humor in it. At, very much at the expense of various races, creeds, and sexualities. He's like, they make fun of... I just realized... I know what the show's made for. Who? Only, only, for the first, only, only for the person who made it and no one else. This yeah, is their probably. Show. A lot of things don't so they really win. So they win. They win forever. <laughs> a lot of stuff really just feels like it was just added in just for the sake of wanting to say we can do well, that too. Yeah, well, there's, there's a bunch of stuff where it's like filler jokes, where they've clearly <laughs> just gone with whatever the hell came to mind. It's like a stream of consciousness almost, where uh, where they've like written. Uh, uh, we'll we'll just write whatever, you know. We'll put down whatever comes to mind. I did it. I'd almost say because I originally thought that Ghostbusters 2016 was was like a tediously scripted out, uh, purposeful cringe humor style of uh, style of movie, and then I found out that most of it was ad lib. And then you watch this, and I would have sworn if this was live action, I would have said all of this was just made up on the spot because it was. It, none of it makes any sense. It doesn't flow. There's no. There's no setup. There's no payoff. It's basically just offhanded comments. And okay, so so Daphne's moms go to go to tell her. Okay, 
going to tell Velma, uh, okay, if you don't if you don't solve this mystery, the sheriff is going to indict you. And I'm like, indict? Huh? Yeah, the sheriff is going to prosecute you for this murder. And nobody thinks to have why? any logical. It doesn't work that way. Hey, why would she? Why would she store the dead body in her own locker? Or what motive did she have to kill kill the girl in the first place? Okay, it's outside of you know. Although, you know, basic aside, bitch nonsense. Yeah, aside from her being, well, all disgusting in terms of her personality. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, um, I, only have, I only have an hour left, so we should probably wrap this up I'm, soon. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up and say, hey, like, I've only seen the first two episodes. I don't know if there are any more out, oh, but the plot makes no fucking sense. And the there are four are episodes. There are four. Oh, there are four episodes out. Uh, okay. Uh, look, presuming that based on Saber Sparks' review, the plot continues to make no sense, and the jokes are are still not funny. There's four too many. Yeah. But it's still been renewed for a second season, and um, I'm just waiting for this to get written off. Because I'm not I, get I, written I, off, man. I just I so desperately hope we the greenlit so it can be. Cancel then use no. as a tax write off later. It, it probably won't be, I mean, maybe a tax write off. I mean, Wonder Brothers is literally out of money. Like, they're so desperate for money that they're suing Batman Gate Guy for, and I quote, quote, illegally writing a Batman story they didn't authorize, which, uh, didn't you guys pay him to do that first off? Yeah, uh, I was gonna say. Like, is it. Wasn't this. You guys actually. I thought you guys were running out of money. You have, you really have time for frivolous lawsuits. It's it's funny because apparently the Batman 2 might be canceled if if it's not cheap enough to pay. Cheap enough to make? Project. You're making a Batman movie. That's anything but cheap. Yeah. Well, it's also um, a guaranteed so... money maker, pretty much. So. Yeah, it's like, stupid. And apparently knows. James Gunn is there to cut costs on every single thing. Oh, that, yeah, like that's, that's definitely gonna happen, Mr. I hired Michael Rooker to be in five minutes of my fucking movie. Mr. I hired her Pete, Pete Davidson to be in five minutes of my fucking movie. Hey, Mr. Her, I hired you get my movie. Yeah, it's, it's messy. Always, I don't expect Warbirds discovery like to last bag. three years. They're gonna get sold off to Disney, and it's it's gonna be. No, I'm gonna, I'm getting Universal. I'm getting Universal buys them off. I oh, hope God. so. Universal needs some help. But yeah, well, um, Universal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna start yeah. the topics. We need to start. We need to get through these. Okay. So, so I'm gonna start. We'll go through another, and then we'll talk about The Last of Us. One last thing one about Velma, and it's just short. And it's really bad. It's really no, we're bad. not talking about the last. No, we're not doing that. Um, so. Yeah, so, uh, hey, I so, the video title. first topic, first topic, <laughs> so, on, what day was it, I don't know the date for this, but on, a, of a, September. last week, on, on, last week, Slick Goku, whose real name was Reggie, passed away from a severe, oh, yeah. uh, seizure. I only heard the name, who is this guy? Um, he was a YouTuber who played Slick Goku this Super Saiyan 4 gangster like Goku, who was genuinely really Fuck. funny. And he did collaboration with people like Devil Artemis, Gohan Verse, and so on and so forth. And he has sadly passed away. Damn. I. Oh, what, ow. Actually? No, what from happened? a seizure? Uh, yeah, he has a seizure. Oh, man. Oh, God, that's yeah. worse. What he, happened? I think he died around. He died. <laughs> Uh, like in his 20s. Wait, what happened to him? I couldn't choose your seizure. Oh, shit. It's one thing if you got cancer, at least you know you're gonna go soon, but a seizure. Jesus, you don't know if that's coming or not. Oh, shit, so it was more out of the blue. Just like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. today nowhere. is the anniversary of the day that my girlfriend's mother got sent to the hospital, and tomorrow is gonna be. The anniversary of my girlfriend's passing, so. Oh, dude. 
basically that, the lesson here is just you know live every day live every day like let people know how you appreciate them because you just never know when it's gonna be your time yeah and slick goku nor my girlfriend's mother knew that their time came so gotcha now. you know that's that's the takeaway from it. it's like goku's death what the f- Oh. sucks. First we almost lost Jeremy Reynolds. We also Jeremy Renner? Yeah, and then now we lost fucking Slick Goku. Why? Why? Okay, so anyway, so they opened up a- His family has opened up a GoFundMe for his funeral, which was uh, about $10,000, and uh, his fans have raised over twenty-three thousand dollars. They're about to hit twenty-four thousand. So yeah, like, fuck, man, this one hit me. Not gonna lie. I mean, I didn't know him, and I never really watched his videos, but you know, I know that he had it. But you know, mortality's a bitch, so. Best wishes to his family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so to the next topic. Um, damn it, that one hurts. Alright. The TNMT designs were leaked. I don't. Oh, I, I tried loading up the page, but it's gone now, so I can't even show you guys. So there's um, the, the, the one for Mutant Mayhem, the new Seth Rogen movie. He oh. wants to bet, actually. They, they, when Rogan said that he would touch more upon them about them being teenagers, he really wasn't kidding. Like, uh, you see Donatello with like taped up glasses. Another, I think Michelangelo that's, got like. But that's from the twenty. That's from the twenty twelve show, though. Twenty twelve show? Yeah. I don't remember the twenty twelve show doing that. Yeah, the 2012 show was the one where he had the taped glasses. I don't remember him having taped glasses at least. Hang on. Like, apparently Raphael's wrong a do-rag. That's from the Michael Bay movie. What? Anyways, um, I'm going to the next topic. Um, Forsaken is a, is a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Oh, um, wait a second. No, that was... Okay, so the taped up goggles are from the Michael Bay movie too. I thought Forsaken was that race of World of Warcraft that Sun did. No, it's it's the Square video game. Yeah. That on yeah. Okay, so the do rag is from the Michael Bay movie. Why the taped is, up glasses? Why are is, from the Michael Bay movie? Why is Seth Rogen reusing stuff from the Michael Bay movie? I don't know. I swear to fucking God, if if Leo has like a. Uh, a reed vest on and and Mikey has uh has like like a shell necklace with sunglasses hooked into it. It th th that is they're they're just gonna be reusing stuff from the Michael Bay film. And yes, I know Michael Bay didn't direct that film. You know, the looks were not bad. Film. I'm gonna be honest though, like they fit their characters. Oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna diss the designs. Okay, I am gonna diss the Michael Bay designs because the turtles are way too fucking big. But like so, the accoutrements, so the accoutrements that the turtles had in that film, film and the sequel. Oh, the sequel is much better, by the way. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna diss that. The, the equipment they had was fucking great. We should get to the next topic. We're going off track. Yeah. Yep. Welcome All right. to the Matcast. So yeah. Forsaken. This is your first episode. Yeah. 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 For Forsaken is being torn to shreds. It's under 70% on Metacritic. The Forsaken. game runs like garbage, even on the console it was made for, and it looks far worse than any of the trailers have initially shown. And that's not talking about the Rick and Morty writing that it has. I don't even know what this is. Forsaken. Because it, Square didn't even advertise the damn thing. I didn't even know it was coming out until I saw people shitting on it. It's I, I it's like Square gave up on it, because the last major thing I heard about was when they released that big demo for everyone, and it was torn to shreds because all empty and boring. 
and Square essentially pushed back the game by like a year and a half or something like that. And I think, I think by that point they're like, okay, people aren't going to buy this. This game is is PR shit all over it. We're not gonna be able to you clean really it. We're just we're just gonna push it out. Fuck the op optimization. We're just gonna leave it as it is. Fuck this game. And they just released it, and it sucks. Oh well, what a shock. Yeah. Um. Let's talk about the Suicide Squad game. We talked about that live service, right? Uh, yes, at some point. Okay, so there have been some story leaks, uh, two particular ones, and guess what they both involve? Don't tell them, Kevin. Oh, I know what it involves, so you're gonna have to have flash somebody point, else flash, guess. With Flashpoint. Flash <laughs> the Flashpoint again. So, I'll tell, okay, so there are two plot leaks. I'm going to focus on what each one does with Flashpoint. The first one had the Flashpoint reset the Arkhamverse, which leads to the story. The second one had Project Flashpoint, where the Suicide Squad's main goal was to... Well, not main goal, but one of the objectives that they get is to rescue the Flash, so that he can pull off a Flashpoint to prevent the York from being destroyed, because it was basically game over at that point. And the Justice League had this flashpoint system in place where if shit gets that bad, the last flash just fall off a flashpoint. That's stupid. Yeah. And apparently this is that why part you don't introduce time travel in your story. Then the people will start using that apparently, as a draw for minor for that, wounds. Mind time for that, travel for, for, that, for, that, for, that, for that, for that, for that. For that second story, it ended with the just with the Suicide Squad doing a Halo Reach, with the game ending with a sort of cliffhanger with the with the Flash being picked up by Wonder Woman. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Look, man, I, I don't mind time travel or time travel anything in my media. You know, that's why I love the Back to the Future trilogy. That's why I love Doctor Who to a certain extent. But how many times are we going to use Flashpoint as a plot? Uh, anything? Can we just have Superboy Prime time punch a hole in time again? Because the last time he did I that, want... it got better. I want Superboy it... Prime to punch a hole in time so that we can never have to deal with Flashpoint again. So why would you have the Flash do a Flashpoint as your last resort to restore the world? Wouldn't you... I... I don't know, look for another universe or something like that, man. I Rocking mean, hell. Or maybe you just already, figure out how to you not have let the it get multiverse, to that point in the first man. place. Why would you wanna why would you wanna screw up the world again by doing another flashpoint? Because it's clear because the writers because member can't berries. Argue. You remember you remember the flash, right? You remember Flashpoint? You've Here's seen the Flashpoint I, paradox, right? Here's how I see it. Flashpoint at this at this point is like going to a very shitty restaurant and ordering the same shitty pizza, but with different with one single topping that's different every single time, and it's still shitty. You got one with mushrooms, still shitty. One with sausage, still shitty. One with uh, I don't, I don't fucking know jelly beans, still shitty. That's how I see it when it comes to Flashpoint. Now, if they go to another multiverse, or if they go to another universe and use the fucking multiverse and take advantage of it, that's pretty much just going to another restaurant you know is fucking good or you hope is good. Why don't they just do that? They know their Earth is a god of shit. Why would well, you do another The universe is also already finished. We don't care anymore. Joker is not dead. dead. No, no, the only, thing, the only thing, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The only thing I want to see is that Superman game of Rocks they want to make. They're not, but the old WB won't let them make it, and the new WB is forcing live service bullshit into the game because they're out of money. That's not a game that Rockstar pitched. That's actually a fan that pitched the the open world Superman game. That was actually no, fan. That was, no, Rocks they want to make a Superman game. They even included they teases also to Dark Knight about it. But like Warner Brothers, in their infinite wisdom, told them no and forced them to make a Suicide Squad game. 
Why is Captain Boomerang using a gun in that, by the way? Why is King Shark using a gun? Yeah. That's King what Shark I'm should be. Are. King Shark should be the guy who rolls in and rips oh, shit up, and Boomerang should use his. Oh, I don't know. Boomerangs! It's in the fucking name. He is the scout. Uh, ta uh, fucking King Shark is the tank. He's the heavy, yeah. Yeah, he's the heavy. Uh, Captain Boomerang is what? The. Captain Boomerang is oh, like the soldier. Sure, okay, let's We're go We're talking soldier. TF2, by the way. Yeah, yeah. and the, the Deadshot is... Sniper. Deadshot is definitely yes. Sniper. Let's go Sniper, yeah. So why isn't he British? Or why drinking? He... When you, you give King Shark a, uh, like a giant-ass minigun, it makes sense considering his size, but... I can Captain see Boomerang. giving King Shark a minigun, but it, that loses out on the melee Captain... combat. Then then why would you give Captain Boomerang a... Uh, why would you have a boomerang with a bunch of dinky pistols? This isn't the whole point of his character that he uses boomerangs? Well, I think what they're trying to do is make this viable as a, uh, as kind of like a, a Fortnite-style, uh, team shooter. Your Fortnite, like man. They're probably trying to make a combination of Team Fortress 2 and Fortnite. How about just Team Fortress? That game everybody hates for some reason? Fortnite is- the only reason I- dude, Fortnite is really easy to- is- too simple it's too simple and yet it's too long it's hide and seek the fucking game and uh, with some crafting mechanics that just happened to be in there yeah. and some nonsense i, I like fortnite i don't i hate play fortnite. it as much as i used to i hate it but it's i hate it man it's not a it's not a you game i'd see also. putting a suicide come on the only the, the only there, reason you know? people like that game is because of the crafting mechanics and because of the nonsensical crossovers I hate yeah. it because it's an okay it's game. It's a fun only... shooter. Yeah, I hate it okay, because it's an okay game. Okay, we're going on topic, guys. I'm okay, so the topic. Okay. I'm just going to say before squad. we move on, this, this Suicide Squad game, it feels like it would have been, like, really topical about, oh, 10 years ago, back when Team Fortress clones were, uh, were a really big deal, you know? About 10, 12 years ago. Why would... It's just so weird, man. Like... Captain Boomerang's got more than one kind of boomerang. Any DC fan knows that. Any well, yeah, casual, it's like, any it's casual like fan Green knows Arrow that. Use guns. Well, the thing is, Green Arrow. Well, I could see Green Arrow using him if, say, uh, I don't know, he's just starting out, right? And then he figures out, okay, yeah, I can just use my fucking bow because I'm Green Arrow. But the thing is, no one does that for a reason. No, like, if you do that with Captain Boomerang, that's just another dude with a gun. You give that, to, you do that to good game Green Arrow, it's just another dude with a gun. Just give him the damn boomerangs. What is so hard? What is so hard about just sticking, having these characters stick to their main weaponry? Because you gotta make new animations, bro? Dude, it, it, it's, it's simple. Have animations of him throwing, have animations of him catching, have animations of him picking up. And then you could WB doesn't want to animate deal. things, Gizmo. It's clear, clear to me eh, ever since Nether Elms Mortal Kombat. Eleven. Mortal Kombat eleven. A lot of their a lot of their animations are weird even up to that level. Sure some of it is improved, but we're look getting at the off way, topic, guys. Look at the okay. way it's coming here. Yeah. It's animated. Okay, ben, go ahead and move us on to the next topic. All Suicide right. Squad game looks yeah. like trash, I think. The is, Simpsons is about The it. Simpsons. Alright, the Simpsons Hit and Run soundtrack was released by Disney digitally. Out of nowhere. Oh. Um does that imply a remaster? Why would Disney release no, this? I they, they will people release soundtracks like that all the time and for basically no reason. And I remember seeing a Ladyhawk soundtrack yeah. get released, and that that it wasn't for like an anniversary. I don't think it was just kind of uh, like, oh, we've got this, let's put this out here. Or, or somebody's gonna buy it. Uh, who is a playable character? I know, but it's weird because run. Disney usually doesn't release their music like this. Like they haven't even released their music on S D their Kingdom Hearts music on Spotify. But this is was... hit and run. Oh, Why Kingdom Hearts that? Kingdom Hearts is different because that has like a bunch of a bunch of stuff from two different companies, maybe even three mushed together. The there, was a, it, there was a shitload of Kingdom Hearts music on Pandora back in the day. Pandora. I remember. Is he I remember it because it used to play on. Uh, it used to play on my Crush Forty radio, 
Crystal when I was listening to it. But then they killed the Crush 40 radio station. And so, you know. They only ever had one album of theirs anyway, so it wasn't even in all of it. I think of this as a good sign. Because, okay, maybe Disney's not gonna, you know, have like an HD remake, but it, this is a good sign that maybe we might get something Simpsons related that's good. You know? They can't it's, remake Hit and Run because of who is a playable character in Simpsons Hit and Run. Well, they, they could nah, like, leave the Apu segments out, but that would just make it. Oh, an, God. Would, yeah. Yeah, because of who is it? Thank you. Nah, it's just people bitching that he's got God, the God damn. Fuck the, fuck the guy who canceled it, too. God. And fuck Kay Gazaria for caving in. Yeah, become one of them now. Yeah, Alright, uh, should I go to yeah. the next topic? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, might as please well. do it before All I right. go on a tirade. Yeah. Um, there's some powering drama you posted, Alex, posted by Cookie Oh, Chris. yeah, we talked about that on, uh, during the Mario Party then. stream, because next, it was like, that topic. was too funny yeah. not to talk about. Okay, so, have we talked about the Rick thing yet? The Rick and Morty thing? Oh, no. Actually, I have to talk about a different piece of Power Rangers drama now that you brought that up. So, so um, um, there are a bunch of entitled fucking weirdos in this fandom, and I have no idea why. Like, uh, so, oh, Power Rangers Damn Dino bro. Fury, he had, it is now leading into a show called Cosmic Fury. And Cosmic Fury is going to be using the Zords from Q Ranger, but original suits made by Hasbro. And these suits look like absolute garbage, and people are fixated on something that isn't the damn suits. They're fixated on the fact that that oh, we have a we have a white woman taking the place of the Red Ranger when the Red Ranger in the last season was black. Okay. <laughs> like like this isn't a fucking tradition in Power Rangers, in terms of having in different characters take on different roles in different seasons. Like, oh, uh, oh, as a black person, and this is very hurtful to me because it's like representa taking away representation and feels like we're demoting the Black Ranger who's, uh, the Black Red Ranger who's taking up a different position. And now, as if that hasn't happened before, as if that hasn't happened with every fucking Ranger in the past. That's because Rangers change colors between seasons sometimes, guys. You don't always have Rangers sticking to the same colors between seasons. And sometimes rangers leave. They replaced Jason you know, David Frank uh, in Turbo with a black uh, Power Ranger. Yeah, we've had plenty of black red rangers, guys. We've had a oh we've my had god a red before. So this isn't this isn't fucking new. Samurai Red, the the real Samurai Red was was a was a woman. And uh, if you guys remember that, yes. I know we have. Of the the memory of fucking uh, goldfish around here during this in this fucking series is for some reason yeah, because because we still we still think that that the show will be good we hold on onto the desperate hope that the show will possibly be good after her seasons upon seasons of them making the same mistakes over and over again and it, as if oh and, and we never learn and we never. Stop giving them our fucking attention and money. Now we're never going to get Q Ranger figures. I hope you're fucking happy about this, guys. It's because we're fixated on on the the races of the Rangers and not talking about, about the fact that, that Cosmic Fury looks like goddamn garbage because they have foam muscles in the suits. Come on! And the spandex is still the same shitty material they've been using since fucking in Dino Charge. Didn't they do that muscle thing in uh, Power Rangers in Space when they got those upgrades? Uh, in Space had Battleizers, so... Kind of? Not really. Um, this is like... This is like the overly muscled, uh, powerful Rangers comics. Or the, the Image comics. Because Image did a Zeo comic and it was illustrated by Rob Liefeld. So naturally everybody is overly Tiny muscled... Feet. Yeah, tiny feet, overly muscled and buff, up to the point where it, it's patently absurd, but, you know, I'll, I'll still defend Rob Liefeld, because at least his art style was fucking unique. Yeah, but, you know, you can't, you know, help but make fun of the tiny feet. I can already hear my dad coming up from the grave saying, Fuck you for making fun of him now. Yeah. Yeah. 
But uh, then you also have, like, but, okay, so, well, there's been, like, literal toxic entitled fandom discourse for tonight. People love to bandy this term about, oh, but this is the most entitled whining I have ever heard in my life. And it's like, like, oh, you're worried about the representation you get from a fucking children's superhero show. Boo fucking who? Who? The only representation I've ever had as a Red Ranger or was Tommy, and he's fucking dead. He's never coming back. In fact, there are no more Native American Red Rangers. There's the best of them yes! who's ever lived is Sorry. Just gone. Sorry, I, I went to the speed so far. Alec, will Alec, never return. Native American? Yes. yes. That's my hero. Really? Oh, here's yes. what's also That's bad about childhood that. childhood hero. Oh, the, the guy who literally was the... Like, oh, oh, we have a Native American guy who likes martial arts and is has long hair. And it, it likes the color green. You know, that's uh, Tommy was that is the best representation I've ever had on any We're going show. A bit too long, Alex. And he left. He's gone. And he he left. Uh, he left during Turbo. Oh, and then then he you know returned during Dino Thunder. And that was cool. But he wasn't the Red Ranger anymore. He was a mentor character because that's what tends to happen in this stuff. Of your, you your characters, as as things shift around, well, the more experienced rangers tend not to stick around in in advanced leadership roles. Well, they they kind of like go into the background a little bit. And, but but now Jason David Frank is dead, and and Tommy he is likely dead along with him. him if if they know what the hell they're doing, and God, I don't know. I don't want to think about who their green ranger is going to be. Yeah, I hope I hope JDF. Have either like recorded something before he died, or, or, or something else. Because if they if they try to like do a rise of Skywalker on Tommy, I, mean, I am going to take my my like three shares of Hasbro that I own. And I am going to email the CEO and say, Hey, hi, I, I'm a shareholder in your company. I am very hey, disappointed in you guys, Alex. It's I am I am done with my self righteous rant. I'm trying to tell you that time's up. Yeah, I'm done with my yeah, self righteous rant. You can topic. go on. All right, finally, let me get back to the list. Oh. There's one. Thing. All right, so okay, okay, that's it. Uh, just yeah, we have to kill this topic. Roland faces oh, yeah. felony domestic violence charges. Wait, who? Justin Roiland is one of the creators of Rick and Morty. Also the voice of voice Rick and Morty, Morty. too. He has yeah. been charged with domestic battery and false imprisonment. And if you read the text messages between him and the girl involved, uh, it sounds like... It sounds like Morty is, is texting her. Oh, man. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, don't, don't tell the news about it. Me beating the shit out of you. Oh, jeez. Good oh. lord, woman. Will it's you relent? Exaggerate. You exaggerate, but that's that's literally what it is. So, I'm surprised. Uh, and the I'm fact that we have... He hasn't yeah, been fired in any companies work that. Oh, don't you know? Warner Brothers loves domestic abusers. That's why they still have uh, Amber Heard employed. And Mindy Kaling. Yeah, and, they, and they allowed oh, yeah, Mindy Kaling. Yeah, Mindy Kaling. Miller. Yeah, Mindy Kaling. Uh, funny. Uh, also, this is, this is um, funny. In the wake of several allegations against Justin, Adult Slim has fired Justin and placed Doug Walker and Malcolm Gray in the roles of Rick and Morty. <laughs> wait, 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 Say that again, then? It's a Say joke, but that would be fucking great. Joke. I'm just gonna post because, the post oh. in the broadcast chat because that's funny. Like I caught me for a second there. I would watch the hell out of that <laughs> because yes. like their impressions are spot on. Yeah. They are. Well maybe not Malcolm, but the the Rick voice you know, is spot on. And, you know, I I will say this. If they replace um Justin with Rick and no uh, with Doug and uh uh, Malcolm, or bring in the Australian Rick voice, no one would complain. That would be amazing. No, that would be great. That would be actually be a marked improvement because over the years, because I have watched Get enough Rick car, and Morty, Marty. over the years, um, the, the Rick and Morty voices car. have started to 
grate on me a little. Really? Mostly just Morty. Especially considering, especially considering Morty has uh, Justin Roiland used Morty's voice in that shitty uh, video game him recently. He, and the oh, right. gun. I I've already turned the on the bug voice. gun. Apparently, the most shit the game has gotten is using AI art and voice acting. Yeah. Which is real shitty. You can. Well, apparently, what they did it was they used, like, an, an AI for, like, background generation from. or texture generation from in, images they already own. Um, so that's. That's basically what it was fucking made for. Or so, congratulations. Good, good, good use of AI there. Oh, is it actual good use of AI? Yeah, they were like from what I read, I think they were using in the AI. They they trained the AI from images they owned on uh, to create like like background textures okay. and things like that. Okay, that is and, which smart is, use of AI. All yeah, right. Yeah, that's that's what the AI that's what AI stuff like that was made for. All right, cool. Like people using well, yeah, it to clone um, art are are basically yeah, that, that is outside the intended realms. Meanwhile, I'm just right, um, I'm just Goomba stomping on um, right, next, Zaldin. Next, uh, next topic: um, the Passion of the Christ sequel will begin filming in the next in this spring. Yep. There's a Passion of the Christ sequel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Passion of the Christ too. Who's Jesus harder? And I'm it's going. Called, it's called. It's the movie series. is called. The movie is called the Passion of the Christ Resurrection. Of course it is. Is Chris Tucker going to be in it? Um, the guy who originally played Jesus is returning. And Jim Caviezel, yes. Yeah, is uh, I love Chris Jim Caviezel. He's a great actor. We talked about this before. Can we talk about how awful the development that was? That man was struck by lightning twice yeah. and survived. Well, do you want to know what happened in the production of the original Jesus Christ Superstar movie? I will, yeah, tell us. Yeah, so that that happened. Like, not exactly, but like the first time when they were filming, thing, um, uh, when they were filming thing, the, uh, the crucifixion scene in uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, her for the first take, a storm kicked up. up. It was like, it was black out there. And like Ted, they'd they'd already strapped Ted Neely up to the cross, us, and everybody was like like freaking out, running all over the place. And Ted was still up on the cross, us, and Tim Miller, yes, I'll die uh, now. Norman Jewison, and, and Norman Norman, the director of the film, had to uh, had to get on his megaphone, turn and shout, "I'll get him down from there," because <laughs> it it like went black, and there was. So much rain, you couldn't see shit. So, like, he almost got struck by lightning during that, during the sudden thunderstorm that kicked up during that. Damn. So, Ben, how do you feel about the Zaldin boss fight? Um, I don't know. You've never gotten to it? So I want to talk about the last about? boss show. Yeah, here. Hello. So if there's a new episode of the Last of Us TV show coming out tonight on HBO, We're not I don't about care. That I've only seen the I'm first going, episode. I'm going to stomp my foot on this. No, it's really good. <laughs> really? No. Fuck you. Yeah. No, it's like, not. Legitimately, it's really good. Like Pedro Pascal no, is, not. is amazing as Joel. Uh -oh, the the, the biggest. The, the one thing. The one. Have you seen the show, Ben? I refuse to watch it with all okay, the Okay, you should watch it. It's really good. The only thing the that I can casting? say... Okay, so... Oh, I, there's a there's a really weird thing. There's a girl who looks exactly like who you'd expect Ellie to. Okay. But then, like, the, af, after the zombie apocalypse happens, there's a girl who looks exactly like Ellie, who, you, who you'd expect Ellie to. Through, but she gets killed almost immediately, hey, and then you were left with um, with the girl we have, and the, she she does a pretty good job as Ellie, 
the only thing is, is I'm I'm persistently distracted by her five head. And the shape the guy of to me just don't L look like the characters. Like Joel is good, but then Ellie looks like crap. No offense to the actress, but she's, it's just not good casting. She's very obviously British. Like like uh you know how Henry yeah. Cavill you can tell no oh, he's British based on on his teeth. His no. he, he he never had braces when he was a kid because braces aren't really a thing over in England. And it's kind of a similar thing with uh, Bella Ramsey. She, she uh she has has like her the way her teeth are, or you can call it fairly from a from a fairly large distance. It's, but she captures the attitude I'd expect Ellie to have quite well. Um so far, the, the big changes they had to the zombies, to the clickers, haven't uh, reared any major... Uh, oh, they will. They were any... remember, remember the... Remember the oh, um, yeah, I know. The fungus? They, they removed that but, from the show. But fungus, uh, fungus. So far, it seems stupid. like they've compensated fairly well. But I've... I, in the opening sequence of the movie, like, before, like, while the zombie apocalypse no. is happening, I can't help but think that, like, uh... Rick Grimes is over in Atlanta, uh, waking up from his coma, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and I, I wondered, like, what would happen, because every, everybody here has played The Last of Us, right? Yep. Yes, I love that okay. game. Yeah. Okay, so you know, you know how, spoilers for The Last of Us, by the way, the game is almost a decade old now, but spoilers for The Last of Us, so, so, like, the, you know, they get separated Resident Evil 2 style, from uh, the, him and his brother Tommy, Joel and his brother Tommy get separated Resident Evil 2 style pulled by a crashing truck. And, um, and, uh, so, well, he has to, they have to take, uh, Joel takes his daughter, her, and he's who's, like carrying her in his arms. So now, yeah, that, oh, that was a little so strange, but you know, it, it's not really that big of a deal. She's only in it momentarily anyways. Isn't so she does right. a pretty good job? Well, it's kind of a big like, deal though. Why would the bar be if she's like that? She's gonna make yeah, it. Yeah, like, the point was that she was supposed to look somewhat like Ellie to an extent. Yeah, and that now she doesn't look anything like Ellie. Okay, so that's kind of a, kind of a, not a great thing for the immersion and for the way it's supposed to work. Although, oh, I do, I do like how they executed, um, Joel's perspective for that. That's because even though, well, like, she doesn't look exactly like Ellie, she kind of reminds, uh, Ellie kind of reminds him of her. Um, but, uh, so in the beginning of The Last of Us, as you know, the, the scene with the, with the soldier? Yeah. Who, who shoots yeah. the daughter? Her, um, I couldn't help but wonder, like, like, if that had been, if this had been taking place in Raccoon City, hey, this, this scene would have gone very different. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Like if that had been, if that had been Chris Redfield, well, it would have gone very different. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's a lot of great attention topic. to detail in the show. Like they have the Gore Lieberman shirt, or, although I wish, because it because it took place, the the apocalypse takes place in 2003. Okay, so, so um, you know you have have the Gore Lieberman shirt. Or if it had taken place in 2004, I think it would have been funnier, or because then you could have had, had like, uh, a Carrie Edwards shirt, too. But, uh, you know, as far as, like, background dressing goes, it's really neat. Yeah, they've got a lot of cool stuff going on. I think, I think they captured the essence of it fairly well, but I wish, I wish these somewhat generic zombie apocalypse storylines would all, all have crossovers. Because this should be taking place in the same universe as The Walking Dead, I think. Probably because of how different the zombies are, though. Oh yeah, I know. They were trying to go for like more realistic right. zombies because the Courtney Seps fungus is a real thing in real life. But uh, yeah, I was also thinking, you know, like if if this was crossed over with like Resident Evil or something like that, that I can't help but feel like like the Courtney Seps. Uh, the super cordyceps that that happens in this would be a uh, <laughs> that would just be you know like Albert Wester or is like trotting along dum dee dum 
from ooh, I'll just leave this this bioengineered fungus that's in Raccoon City on my way out. <laughs> oh, I've got to go go off to an uh, to an island somewhere for and fuck around. The real Albert Wester. I I also you know what would have been funny? They could have tied that in, because you know how Wester's a clone? They could have yeah. tied uh, Welcome to Raccoon City, not Welcome to Raccoon City, they could have tied the uh, the Resident Evil Netflix show into that by saying that, like, like the Albert Wesker in that is, like, like the Albert Wesker who created all of the clones that that uh, that either, like, died in the one that it became him Wesker. Or and have, have them have basically the same personality, kind of like they did, and he's just like, I wanted to see what I'd look like as a white boy. <laughs> they look pretty damn good, but if you ask me. Yeah, but then they didn't do anything uh, funny with it. It, no, it was just stupid. Because Wesker died in a volcano. Oh, so I kind of wonder how that, how they were supposed to square that. But Wesker came back to life before, so who the fuck knows? <laughs> Anyways, we can move on. I, I'm done. I'm done rambling. All right, fine. All right. Next, uh... Oh yeah, did we talk about the GameCube controller returning to game uh, the Switch or? Oh yeah, so there's a GameCube Joy-Con thing. That yeah, looks so pretty cool. that was Joy-Con thing. And they're advertised. They advertised it. Well, it kind of looks like a wave bird too. It's cool. actually an entire controller. But yeah, that controller. Well, you can pop the, off. You can pop it off and use it as Joy-Con stuff. And yeah, you can, you can put on this. You can use it as like a, its own controller. You can put on the Steam Deck. You can essentially, yeah, you can use it as like an any controller. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also, what the main I want to talk about this. Hang on, hang on, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this. The main advertising point for this controller is, I shit you not, will never have drift. Yeah. That was. Oh, I thought that, you were about to say it has fresh brownies inside. Fresh brownies and chocolate chip cookie. This is my shit job. This is yeah, my. Yeah, it was going so well. Station. They had to. I wish I said this chat. Why, why does the healing have a delayed effect in this game sometimes? I don't We're know. just stacking up commands. Fresh brownies. <laughs> I'm going to play Bayonetta with this controller. I just want to say. I would. Anyone would. Honestly. I want a lot of games that actually play well on GameCube style controllers. Like, um, yeah. I played Ninjala on uh, the Switch. It's a really good free to play game. Uh, I had this like quarry pad GameCube like controller and it had everything. It had like HD rumble, motion, it had NFC. Uh, it played really well with Ninjala and like I, I think it's because they like upgraded everything. Like they made the buttons a little bigger, the joysticks bigger. Uh, GameCube controllers, y you never know how well they might work with a lot of games. Well, the GameCube controller is basically, like, if you'd have added another shoulder button, that would be the definitive controller. Also, like, clicks uh, oh, buttons yeah, underneath that's... the joysticks. So if you put buttons underneath the joysticks and add and, uh, another shoulder button, then that is the definitive controller. Uh, unfortunately, if that never happened with during the GameCube's lifespan, so... Oh, well, uh, but, you know. A lot of these third-party controllers, though, is that now they're putting in the improvements that... Should have happened years ago, like uh, the the joysticks clicking. Oh god! You know, Marlosh is doing his. Marlosh is going, trying to do his ape shit thing. Get off of me! Bad no. touch! Bad touch! Maybe you and me and the mother mammoths would like to do a little scare. Marlosh is a man. He is a very androgynous man. I see it's just the fact of yeah, it's a Oh and Oh and some people might not know this, but Marluxia is voiced by the same guy who plays Blue in Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Okay. Man, what an idea. An actual Foster Foster's home for imaginary friends. Man, I a long wish time I since I thought about that show. I wish I would have thought of that. And it would have been nice if they made a decent game out of that. Yeah. They're making oh. a new show. I have no faith that it will be any good, but maybe it's it'll be the original creator. 
Craig McCracken. That'll be any good. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. You're making another foster home for imaginary friends? Yeah, it's just, the premise is that it's before Mac comes. It's like the morning kind of deal while Mac is at school. So, so like okay. if it enters before he comes by as foster home. Yeah. Isn't that already a thing though? No, because they, the show I, is about with Mac. And this is without Mac. I'm pretty sure they had adventures. I'm pretty sure they had the episodes where the. Oh, uh, yeah, they did. They did. But like, oh, my fucking God, two zombies. Yeah, like, we're in blue. It's his own room. Ben's playing Resident Evil 2. Yeah, remember when they had the guy off the door and two zombies walk right out to my face. I don't like it. Yeah, speaking of Resident Evil 2. Okay. I should probably make a character. Oh my name god, he doesn't go down! Which one? Stay down! What, I so you like 50 times what zombie are you facing? What? Describe to me what the zombies look like. <laughs> Where did the zombie touch? Literally, just. His face is literally skeleton <sighs> right now. I have shot him in the head 50 times and he still won't go down. I have. I'm stabbing him in the face. Then. Headshots will only kill zombies if you make the head explode. I know. Depends on the zombie, but yeah. It no. I've, seen, like, I've killed zombies with one headshot, and there are others that take like 50 ammo. It's. <laughs> so if you're taking, if, if, what, which no, 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 no. which Resident Evil game are you playing? Resident, Resident Evil 2 Remake. remake. Uh, okay, yeah, so, at, yeah, as, as long as it explodes, then yeah, they should die. Resident Evil 2 Remake is the best and worst remake I have ever played. She better take that worst out. Fuck! No, Route B is some of the worst bullshit I've ever played. It is awful. It is garbage. Which is funny because Route B was great in the PS1 original. Yeah, they... They <laughs> fucked it up here. Like, okay. How? Also, I have a question. I'm not How rant, the hell? No, I'm not, let me rant. Let me rant. Root A is fucking phenomenal. Despite the cut content, it is amazing in terms of its atmosphere, its gameplay, story, and fucking scares throughout. It is amazing. Root B is everything wrong with Root A. Everything. It's less mm, awful. Mm. Plus R. Like, okay. Well, first off, the premise of it is that it's supposed to take place alongside the A. So you start off with the character behind the fence. Right. Then they do nothing with that. <laughs> they do mm, fuck all with that. So instead of having it be a premise where it takes place alongside it, you're just playing. A harder, worse design Route A it is essentially. Yeah, that's harder... that's one of my complaints with with that game. It is just a harder version of Route A that's complete bullshit. Like, what, for example, Mr. X in Route A is perfect. Like, he doesn't he doesn't stay for too long. And his appearance isn't too short, like Nemesis in Three Remake. He is there for as long as he is needed. Root B just increases his time by double and appears near the start. Like, okay, I get it's like a harder mode thing, but that's not Root B is supposed to be. Root B is supposed to be his own separate entity. Also, where the fuck did Leon or Claire go from the other side of the fence? Like, they're in the building, but they just kind of vanish off the face of the earth. Like, why can't Root okay, A so they, interconnect they changed with it from the from the truck? Huh? In, in the original Resident Evil, uh, in the original Resident Evil 2, the semi-truck crashed and they, they got trapped guys, on opposite I, sides Guys, of the truck. I told you yeah, this is when yeah, I was streaming no. the game. Okay, so Rufy, Rufy starts with, okay, so you know the scene where Leon or Claire meets up with Leon or Claire at the gate? Right. It yeah. starts there, but you start with the character behind the gate. You run from the zombies, you find the alternate outfits that resemble the originals, and you start from there. And that's the only good part of it. Also, nope. they lost the true ending behind it, which is complete bullshit. Yeah. Yep. They already made this game. All they had to do was 
spruce okay, it up and add any cut content. Yeah, you don't know want to know what I would have done through C? Have it interconnect with root A. Let me give you an example. So, imagine if your choices in root A directly affected your uh, what happens in root B. For example, let's say you go complete okay, ben, maniac. Have no. you played the original Resident Evil uh, 2? Years and years ago, yes. That's kind of what happens in that. There were yes. limitations because it was a PS1 game, hey, but that was the original intention, and that was yes. basically how it wound up. Uh, kind of. Yes. So here's what, here's what I would do. For example, like imagine you went complete maniac, killed all the zombies. Well, the ones you didn't explode your head, in Root B, they transform they into the Raptor zombies. Yeah. Yes. Crimson heads. Imagine that. Imagine going through Root A, killing everything near path, and starting Root B, only to discover the Ravager zombies all over the building. Yeah. That Imagine. would be great. That, that would have been horrifying. Been that would have been horrifying. I would have hated like, it. Just be... So imagine, like, actually... there was, imagine, imagine, okay, so here's another idea. So imagine, like, the beginning part of the game, you had to do the outside stuff to just to get it. Maybe there's, like, a few puzzles, some enemies. And then when you get in, when you walk in, you'll see Claire or Leon entering the, the ba basement thing as it closes. After they collected the medals, leaving you to do your own thing inside. Temporarily. Yeah. Like, come on, like, th there's so much potential there, and they could totally do it! Like, uh, just lock, like, okay, I uh, have some newer areas locked from Route A that you can explore and you can do your thing there, like, come on, like, it's, it's such a simple solution, like, it can be done! But are you the solution? No, he's part of the problem. <laughs> it's just, it's... He's you know, not I on just, the Capcom so dev team. I just... It's just, I, I love Resident Evil 2 Remake on Route A, but I absolutely fucking hate it in Route 2. Which is why I call it the best and worst remake ever made. And as much shit as I give Resident Evil 3 Remake, the remake, at least it doesn't waste my fucking time with an awful Route B. Why is Resident Evil... Uh, okay, so I know that... Technically, Resident Evil 3, the original version, was shorter than Resident Evil 2 was, because it only came on... You know, it came on one disc, or, yeah. you know, it had a smaller file size. Why is, why is Resident Evil 2 Remake twice the file size of the Resident Evil 3 Remake? Resident Evil um, 2 Remake? Because it has more loops, I guess. It's got more characters to play, it's got, it's probably yeah. got more. Well, it's got a like, lot more scenarios to go Basically nothing, though. The character like models not, take it's a lot not that much, it's like so. a couple of makes. There's just a lot more content in 2 Remake, a lot of filler content, if I'm being honest. It should have the same care, though, with Resident Evil 3, because what happened was, uh, the original Resident Evil 3, well, yeah, you're getting chased by Nemesis, and you tend to come out of nowhere. YES! Which is, what, which is uh, one of the Hi, things Jill. that makes it scarier. Um, what they took out was the branching paths. Like, do you want to stay and fight Nemesis, or you want to sneak past them and get through the door? Do you want to go under the bridge, or do you want to risk it and drive through the zombies? You know, that kind of Do you want to jump thing. out of the fucking train, or brace for impact? Yeah, they got rid of all of that in Resident Evil 3 Remake for some reason. I don't understand why. Less effort. <laughs> uh. Um, here's the prayers from what I can tell. They copied the design philosophy that... The original Resident Evil 3 remake had because it did the same thing. We copied most of the assets and everything else. And what they did, for that they decided to copy that, but they rushed it out, so they didn't add uh, the other alternate routes or anything. So it was like this very simplified thing. And if you play for the first area, you could tell it's restricted, very much so, and it's a shame. Also, I'm not a fan of the change that they did with Jill, because, like, okay. Where she looks or, uh, nothing like she did in any of her previous appearances. Honestly, yeah. I, I think she still looks okay, like, appearance-wise, but people were saying, oh, she's dressed like that because it's more, it's more convenient, you wouldn't go in a zombie apocalypse like that. It's, like, true, but the zombie apocalypse came out of nowhere. She was yeah, dressed that... like 
She was dressed like she was going out on that date because that's what she was planning to do in the first place. Go out yeah. on the date. Like nobody... They didn't think the zombies were coming to Raccoon City that night. It was the fucking thing like, like a bunch of lab rats got out of, of one of the umbrella labs and corrupted the water supply. Yeah, it's, right, it's that was like, how, how that happened. It's not like she was going out as a plain clothes officer, which she technically still was. It's just that she wasn't expecting anything to go wrong, which is why she was just in that two top and mini skirt. You know, that that fits a tone that that fits a tone of, of more. If anything, because it's like it's, yeah. it's me going out on a zombie apocalypse with, say, uh, a wife beater, uh, socks, and pajama pants. Yeah. It's like I wasn't expecting any of this to happen, but this is the only thing I had on. You really expect me to just change into my jeans and a t-shirt and maybe even a maybe even a hoodie before going out? I don't know. I'm in the, I'm out in the panic and everyone's dying and. Redying and re 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 dying and coming back from the dead and shit. I'm not gonna go back to my house and change for that shit. I'm running the hell out of there and what I have on. Yeah, it's like how uh, in Last of Us, Joel and Tommy here in their regular ass clothes. Uh, yeah. What's her name? The daughter is in, in just like her school clothes. You yeah, know? it made sense why they were in in all that because the. It was all, it was chaos, and like all these zombies are like happening around them, and like martial law, whatever the fuck. So there's a reason why they're out in their PJs and like sleepwear and shit. You know, which is, which is the reason why Jill was out in like a, a tube top and miniskirt, like I said. She wasn't expecting any of this. Yeah, if Irons had actually been treating the situation seriously, he, he would have had, had the Stars team on high alert. He would have given them kind of the fucking gear they needed to address the situation and be. Well, don't forget, Irons is Irons, oh, is Irons is under Wesker's is 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 um and and I'm yeah, quoting. Irons is under Umbrella's thumb. Anyway, we should start moving to the next topic. Yeah. We got we got yeah. real distracted there. All right. Um, Pepsi or what was it? Pepsi, Pepsi man. Pepsi, what? Pepsi, lemon lime soda is discontinued. Replaced yeah. with sodaless um, flavored Sierra berry? Mist, I believe it's called. Yeah, a Sierra Mist. That's getting, that's going out of uh, production, which is. Did they say sad. why? Um, let me. Oh, I just think that link. You know, you can get. I would imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now, let's see. Uh, Sierra Mist failed to keep up with Sprite in the 82 billion soda market, whereas Sprite controls around 7% of the market share. Uh, Mist, uh, Sierra Mist sales were a near 0.1% of that market in 2022. Up. Uh, no, Sprite is a Coca-Cola product. No, 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 I mean, those, uh, Pepsi, doesn't Pepsi own a 7-Up is what I mean? Uh, no, 7-Up is a is part of the 7-Up Dr. Pepper cooperative thing. Uh, okay. Apparently, there is a Captain Planet movie coming out by Paramount. Oh, thank fucking god. Captain Planet Planet this thing right the before the boss fights uh, the, the uh, gauntlet. Captain Planet so what's the what's the captain planet thing about he asks as if he doesn't already know all right um the guy who was in the Top Gun is is wanting to play Captain Planet, or is. What the fuck? <laughs> Tom Cruise? That. No! Tom Cruise? Glenn! Fucking Glenn Power, I said his name. Oh, no. said guy from, you said guy from Top Gun. Yeah, he's the he's one of the guys from Top Gun. <clears throat> There's literally more than one guy in Top Gun. I didn't say there was one guy. I said there was the, the guy from Top Gun, not yeah, there, the guy it's from not Top Gun. Tom that could literally mean anybody. You could mean Tom Cruise for all we know. You could mean Tom Cruise, Miles. Teller. I mean, I you said his name before Falcon I Yama. said that, so I don't know why the confusion. You hear me say the name? Yeah, I did. I didn't I'm hear the name. name. Oh my God, you guys are deaf. I'm moving to the next topic. Um. 
Let's see. Power is yours. Matt Matt Wash attempts to claim abandoned title of Apex homosexual of stupid ass take on Deadpool. Say that uh, again? Yeah. 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 You, Matt, yeah, yeah. He basically Alex said Pitbull should be banned, which he's claiming that they're all dangerous. Like, there are some other breeds of dogs that are just as dangerous and violent, but you don't know, uh, you know, talk German about those. Well, well, the thing is, built of pit bulls German Shepherd are... Chihuahuas. Look, if you, oh if god, you're... Chihuahuas. No. I have been attacked Chihuahuas by Chihuahuas more bulls. times than I've been attacked by pit bulls. Like, look, the pit bulls are a, are a really, really dangerous breed of dog. There's a reason, there's a reason why not even wolves will attack a fucking pit bull. I mean, Jesus Christ, I've neither no, I've seen I've neither pit bulls and wolves win. I've neither you guys seen know that thing? Kevin owns a pit bull, right? Like, okay. Yeah. Pit bulls tend... It entirely depends on how they were raised. Because pit yes. bulls can be the sweetest dogs in the entire world if they're raised to be like what they're generally supposed to be, which is... Nanny know, dogs. Nanny dogs, yes. I then you have the, is, the fighter dogs. Pit I bulls think the have, thing is that they're the heart that well they're one of the hardest dog breeds to raise. Well, pit bulls have natural instincts, natural protective instincts, and and yep. you can you can very easily manipulate that to make them into fighting dogs. And yep. when they're Those used as fighting dogs, being... they tend to be they are very aggressive and they will because of their instincts, they're very aggressive and they will or absolutely not. I'm back on the island, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, so you're fighting. Oh, you're about to take on Pitbulls. Ansem, the Pitbulls seeker of dankness. Pitbulls, Pitbulls, as the first many dogs, was bring care yeah. to the family and protect them at all costs. That, yeah. because of that, they are very, very, very strong animals. It, yes. Incredibly so, to a point where, uh, so if you ask or realize this, it took oh, yeah. advantage and of that particular gene to make them fighting dogs. I have to mention, by the way, strong dogs, no matter for how sweet they are, or they are also very difficult to control. I have mm -hmm. uh, two damaged shoulders because of that, and that is from a uh, black lab. Sweetest dog in the world did not know her own strength. Yeah. Oh, that's where I need to go to trigger the defense scene. I'm just saying, okay. though, there's a reason why the stereotype of pit bulls exists. You know, I know, like, I know, but it's not really a rightful it, stereotype. Well, it's not, look, it's not. Yeah. Are, there's a reason why people are either afraid of dogs in general or pit bulls. You don't hear anyone saying they're afraid of corgis, they're afraid of, like, golden retrievers. They're, That's they're because of all of the fear okay. mongering and shit. To that be happens. fair, yeah. I have seen. I know somebody who is afraid of a. Uh, who's afraid of golden retrievers, but. That I'm that guy had a very strange experience with one. Um, but uh, like you're not gonna be, you're generally probably not going to be afraid of corgis because corgis are cute and fluffy. And also cowboy bebop. Yeah, also cowboy bebop. They're not. Uh, they're generally not aggressive dogs. They're just kind of cool to hang out. Uh, they try to herd you around the house. Fly with me. Let's come fly on. and finish this game. Hey, come crawl with me like a turtle out to the bay. We can, uh, we can say a lot of th good things about pitbulls all, all, all we want, but what I'm saying is, like any other animal, like any other animal, there's a reason why certain stereotypes exist for them. There's a reason why, there's a reason why a uh, bull in a china shop exists, and there's a reason why. People joke about a pit bull eating a uh, eating a baby. You know, they're like hardly... pitbulls. Dear like, kill Vexen. I've seen pitbulls like attack like genuinely nice, genuinely like, just like peaceful breeds. Like dead ass. I think I saw a pitbull almost eat a fucking pug. And when I say eat a fucking pug, I literally mean almost tear that thing to fucking shreds to the point where it might as well be on the deli's menu. Yeah. Uh, getting back on the Matt Walsh thing, though. So Matt Walsh has revealed himself to be exactly the kind of fucking retard that a lot of people hoped he wouldn't. And, uh, you know, 
He's the reason. I'd say Ben Shapiro needs to, needs to keep better company, but Ben Shapiro, oh, tends to have have like a mixed bag in terms of in terms of his Matt takes. It was Matt that said it. No, I know. Oh, I, I'm just saying, like, like Ben really Shapiro. Ben Shapiro Matt needs to. Matt Walsh thinks you have to be married and have kids to be happy. Fuck him. I mean, well, Matt Walsh is probably... also oh, a yeah, giant could... fucking retard. So. I mean, if you're married and you have yeah. kids, genuinely you would be married, like, you would be happy, but that's not for everybody. Yeah, my not everybody wants to be married, not everybody yeah. likes kids, or even wants kids for that matter, especially nowadays. Say oh, what? what no, I don't you care who you are. Die, 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 die. Gizmo, what was the last thing you said? I was trying to say it was like, you know, ideally you would be happy if you do have like, a family and kids, but that's not for everybody. Considering not many people like kids or want to put up with kids, or and not many, and there's even less people getting married nowadays too. So I don't know what he's smoking, thinking that everybody can just be happy if they just got married. Yeah, because yeah, there's like, a lot of it, ifs things not considering. Yeah, kids are not only are kids expensive, but there's also other factors you have to like consider. Like, what if you got divorced? You would have to. Split yeah. the resources and split the shit that you bought not only for each other but for yourselves. You know, uh, what if the, what if the what if the wife can't conceive? You know, what what you would have to talk about adoption. What if they yeah. don't want adoption? You know, you know, oh, they're gonna get into an argument of continuing the bloodline or just wanting to have a baby. There's yada all... yada yada. You know, there's a lot of factors this guy has not thought of to begin oh, with. No. He doesn't do this thing called thinking, Gizmo. He only does. That's, yeah. what, I'm that's what I'm looking. That's why I'm should, here. Yeah. We should go yeah, to the, the next pit bulls topic. thing. Really next topic, guys. Probably Matt guys. Guys, 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 guys go ahead move on, on to the next topic. It's a weird take. Anyway, um, Ben, what's next? Um, uh, this isn't next, but I just saw this on my feed. Uh, apparently, there's nine days left until filming for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie starts. Cool. Five Nights at oh, okay. Then. Where is that filming, by the way? I don't remember. It's in the Probably United States. Probably gonna somewhere. be filmed in Atlanta. A lot of stuff well, maybe. is these days. We can talk about it, where it's gonna be filmed, but where is it gonna be filmed? I don't we, remember. It, there oh, is some state, but I don't remember. Well, I'm, I'm, gonna gonna be I'm, not, I'm not going here's, to Here's what I'm, I'm talking about. Go, I'm not talking week. about the actual topic. Uh, Ubisoft is getting fucked. Uh, Ubisoft delays Skull and Bones and cancels more games and announces new cuts. So, essentially, they kind of threw over the developers under the bus on this one, kind of being the blame on them, saying it's up to you to save us now. And... Yeah, they're in really bad shape. They they you know are. What they in... need to do? They need to. They desperately need to cut the budget for Assassin's Creed. No one. Need, does anyone even? People still play Assassin's Creed. Surprisingly, Just make an Assassin's Creed game that's either like Assassin's Creed two through three or Assassin's Creed two through four. Just Actually, yeah, two through four. For that's that's where you need to end because Just use whatever engine that's Creed... using. Assassin's Creed 1 is kind of jank. You can then make, like, uh, two Brotherhood Revelations, three and four. Those are really good games. I agree, because as Brotherhood was, is, pro is actually my favorite Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, Brotherhood's fucking great. And um, then you have just, like, the, the fucking thing nonsense that is right everything that came after Assassin's Creed 4. Where it's like, what... Where's my pirate ship, guys? And now, now we're like, why why are you shoehorning a ship into every game now, guys? Sugar, take anything you like. Assassin's take Creed Unity. It like. was fucking garbage. And then Assassin's Creed need uh uh Assassin's Creed Syndicate wasn't that much better. And then and everything that came after that, that was fucking nonsense. Like why why did it turn into Dark Souls? Why, indeed. You know, I don't know. Um, also, um, this Google Stadia has officially shut down. No, no, no. Took him no. fucking long enough. No, 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 no. no. And he's dead. Hey. First try, bitch. Uh, uh, Alex, no. you've got two, you've got oh, no, three more no, phases. No. Oh, no, 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 no. 
That used up all of my fucking... Those, you could literally heal are up. Are For you those could... who own the controllers, there are good news. They have uh, Google is releasing a tool that allow you to enable Bluetooth connection to it. So the yeah, controllers I saw that. They're actually used. being really good sports about this, surprisingly. Yeah, but yeah. The same time, they, I feel like they knew this was going to happen. I mean, I think they're releasing yeah. it the, the same day that they shut... Google Stadia down. That tells you something. Okay, Kevin, where do I go to heal? Uh, you're just you could just heal before you could just heal with your items before, the, or you face off against oh. Dark Side again. Oh, well, I'm at max health, so I thought there was like a safe oh. point. No, there's not there's a safe point. Funny, it's just um... us. The uh, it's just the boss is very generous and waiting for you. Okay. And by the way, you have well, to face cool. um you have to face both dark both dark side and um and Ansem again in that state it by yourself. Fuck. Yeah. No, thank you. Don't worry, right. dark side is uh, e don't, don't post... worry, dark side is piss easy in this game. I've got I'm gonna post this in the broadcast Especially by chat, this but... point since you've already fought him twice. The the U.S. the the U.S. Customs hates seal, the sealed video game market. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Oh, because it made me cringe, but at the same time, those guys are assholes. But they essentially destroyed the holder, ripped and threw out the seal, and sliced the front of the box off of a sealed copy of Pokemon Yellow that had been graded and put into uh put into plexi a plexiglass case. Yeah. And what? You know, yeah. it's I don't know why the hell they did that. You can Like why did you do that, this... guys? Is there any benefit think... that you can what is there no way that you could have uh you could, a no way you could have found out that there was nothing else games. in that fucking case. You have x-rays. They do. Your x-rays is can this see was... my fucking this was can see definitely the, the intentional. Little, little fuck was... you I've written on the inside of my leg. This is... like when can you guys look at at the uh, at, yeah. at the uh, TSA? You know, I, like why? I will. Yeah, I mean, this is this is definitely done by people who hate these the the, the sealer guys, and I agree. Those sealer guys are fucking pricks. They oh no, customs are just pricey. fucking retarded. No, 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 yeah, I think... I, no, no. No, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. I get, I get hating those guys, but destroying a copy some guy bought with his money is not how you fix it, and I hope that guy gets a refund. Oh, yeah. Here's Customs I desperately is. needs I, to... Uh, I don't think there's anybody from like the anti-WADA kind of group, because let's face it, there. if we break something like this, we would have just taken the entire entire thing with us. Let's be fair. We're not gonna entire. We're not gonna ruin an entire fucking box copy of Pokemon Yellow because we hate water. No, I would take it. I would either take Wait, the damn game. Happened? Look. look um, so what happened is someone went through uh, U.S. Customs with for, with uh, with Poke with a sealed copy of Pokemon Yellow graded by Wada, and when he got back his uh, sealed copy and graded copy of Pokemon uh, Yellow. Let, let me just say it again, that it's sealed. Not only was the uh, grading packaging broken in pieces, but the box, the front of the box of Pokemon Yellow, was cut open. Literally, like, they cut the front of the box open. Why? Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's what a lot of people are saying. Uh, uh, I think it was uh, Ben that said that it must be some anti wada people. I don't think so because, like I was trying to say, is that if that was the case, they would have left the box alone or just, you know, kept it for themselves. Because that's what I would do. That's what anyone would do for that matter. Because games are meant to be fucking played, not sealed in like that way. I think it was just a guy. Literally not caring or knowing about video games enough to just break the fucking thing open, not knowing its value. Because I don't people, know. I feel like people, I feel I like they people would like, know, even if you look at like the. Well, look, I know what you're trying to say. Just the fact that it's just the fact that it's sealed up with plexiglass should tell any reasonable human being thing that this is this is not something you're going you, you really want to break into. Right. Like, okay, the, we better but, find like a non-destructive method to uh to see if there's anything in here 
Joker, you know? Well, the, the thing wait, is, the oh, wait, wait, off topic, guys, guys, like... guys, 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 the, the, the protagonist in Forsaken, someone tweeted this out, crazy how Square made their black female protagonist a real, a real criminal. <laughs> Holy shit. She is oh, a criminal God. in the yeah. game. Uh, damn, I didn't know Square Enix was racist. Between <laughs> Grand Larry in the third degree. All right, at least you go to the next topic. We're almost. I'm almost. At least done she doesn't have that. At least she doesn't have that stupid afro cut that I'm seeing on a lot of uh, oh, yeah. people of color. All right, Ben, tell us what the next topic is, Mr. Tennyson. It's the last one I have, really. So, uh, the Catalyst Protocol importantly has met met its Publisher sales expectations, aka it's a flop. Everyone laugh. Okay. Yeah, uh, fuck that game. It's over. Time is coming, so have I. Alex, I want you to sing something before I vanish into the void. What? You know, you know the Animaniacs? But don't sing. Yeah, you know it though, right? Yes. Okay, someone made this. I want you to click on that. I want you to look at this. And I want you to sing the theme without context. Hang on. I gotta beat some ass. <laughs> that's, so you gotta oh, beat that's gay, bro. Well, you gotta beat <laughs> Billy Zane's beating ass. ass. Beating ass is not gay. Uh, Fucking ass. Entirely is depends. Gay. First off, it entirely depends on whose ass it is. It's Billy Zane's. Beating ass is not inherently gay. Yeah. Well, beating. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Fuck. Motherfucking, fucking, motherfucking, fucking, motherfucking, okay, motherfucking, okay. motherfucking, so, motherfucking. What did you just link us to? I link, I sent you a DM. That's my impression of Gizmo's impression of Mr. Enter. Fucking, fucking, motherfucking, fucking, motherfucking, 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 Okay, fucking, fucking, I don't know the Animaniacs theme well enough oh, to, uh, but never mind. to sing don't that. Sing no, just don't sing it then. If you don't know it, if you don't know the theme, you're not gonna be able to sing it. Aren't they? Isn't the reboot What's like that? on its final season now? Yeah, I it got so. It wasn't very it's good. On, it got it's decent enough. They um apparently yeah, it was I mean, canceled I abruptly. Was so when they were finishing the last bad. episode, they were alerted that it would be the last one. So they had to make a quick new scene at the end. To well, it's um, the end. it's over. That's all, folks. That's basically yeah. that, 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 that's all fucks. It's kind of a shame because it has a lot of good elements, but it also has a lot of shitty elements. Yeah, well, this is like, what happened. They made an entire episode about pants farting. Yeah, that was some bullshit. Like, was the buns control like, They uh, didn't have the characters from back in the day either, which is kind of odd. They only had the right. Warner Brothers and sister, as well as Pinky and the Brain. That's all they had. Yeah. They also canceled Hello Nurse because she's too- because we can't act because sexy women are offensive now. Yeah, way to go. Never, oh, and never also, mind. um, and also- Never mind that Hello Nurse yeah. is and also there, offensive. And also, it seems like, like, Animaniacs kind of forgot that they were equal opportunists in terms of who they make fun of, because they, they're supposed to make fun yeah. of everybody. And, and here they delve, delve too much into- who the derangement syndrome brought on by a certain orange man. Yeah, Lord Man Dab. Lord Man yeah, Dab. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they haven't made... They, they they don't have the balls to make fun of Joe Biden because, no, we can't make fun of Democrats anymore. No, we can't do that. <sighs> All right, I, it's time for me to go. Jesus. All right, well, so when we get done here, play? I'm going to watch the second episode of The Last of Us. David Alex, stop. It's a really good show so far. I don't, it's sus. Don't do it. 
Would you say? Would you get work? Would At you some point, I'm gonna work playing The Last of Us One into my uh, schedule here. Uh, then I'm gonna. Anyways, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. You guys have a good night. See ya. Then I'm gonna do something. Well, the Last of Us Two is garbage. I'm gonna read other news here. That's worth Damn, mentioning. Damn, it's only eight forty-eight where I'm at too. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm not even gonna stream. Like, like, like I was gonna stream my game, but it actually like hurts uh, my performance, so I'm just not gonna do that. Looks like a uh, nervous Nick in high school. Looks like nervous Nick is still uh, looking for work. Nervous Snake, who is that? Nervous Snake is a guy who's been with Screw Attack for a while now, up and until when they turned the death battle, and even when Rooster, up until Rooster Teeth bought it out, uh, he was a part of the, a large layoff that uh, Rooster Teeth uh, had to do. He was uh, he was a writer of a bunch of uh, top ten uh, Screw Attack top tens as well as death battles. I think I was he the guy with the uh, stuttering Craig? Yeah, stuttering Craig, handsome after, Thomas. Yeah, then, after handsome Tom left Screw Attack, nervous Nick took yeah. over. He was also the guy uh, that was. Uh, he was also the guy that they uh, that was the butt of the joke of everything breaking being his fault because most of the stuff that broke was his fault. It was. Oh yeah. By the way, um, now that Ben's here, we got a special guest in the chat, Invisible Craig. Hi guys, I heard you've been talking some massive shit about me. Can we not? I don't know who you are. What? I don't you know. You don't want to know who this guy is, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> He's an Aces uh, a group, so he'll figure it out sooner or later. Well, he was Aces' friend, but then Invisible Crane kept getting butt hurt because Asa said. There was actually this one time, like, five years ago, I shit you not, um... Asa ha was having this feud with, um... Drunken Punk 800. Who? Um, He's a very obscure YouTuber that didn't get many views, and now his account is deleted, so... Uh, that much doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk- I'll talk more about him probably later. Or, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, Asa made a. St Asa did a stream because Drunken Punk kept getting on his, getting on his nuts um, and wouldn't leave him alone. Kept shit talking Asa's wife, Asa's disabled daughter uh, during his streams, and then Asa decided. All right. Well, now I'm gonna fire back, and then Asa made this. They then a then like sometime during Asa's reaction to the video that Drunken Punk deleted, Dr Drunken Punk said about uh, Asa's friend. What about you showing the pictures, uh, showing people at the con the pictures of Danny's dick? What about that one? And then Asa said, yes, it's an in-joke that he has with Danny. I unfortunately know what Danny's dick looks like. Sadly, I know what Invisible Crane's nutsack looks like. And Invisible Crane got butt and saw that, and I guess he got butt hurt over that. He's also on the far arms to regularly get dunked on. On every time he so much as, as tries to open his mouth and defend himself. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Uh, he, he, he's on another disc. He's on Judith Conzo's Discord, too. Like, he's still on there. I actually challenged him to defend himself when he was shitting on Emma Prevo, saying, Oh, I hope he's rotting. He, he was a piece of shit. That's why he said he was a piece of shit. Because at one point in the stream, uh, Emma Prevo at one point said that uh, Flamingo didn't deserve a fucking phone. 
Yeah. He yeah, shits off a dead guy because he said in a stream that he didn't deserve a phone. Yeah, and I mean, like, fuck. Well, shit, maybe he doesn't. Oh. At this point, like, no. Cray needs to take, like, and now his Twitter's protected, too. Yep, he blocked me. <laughs> he blocked me, he blocked Gizmo, he talked shit about me behind a block. Grant, I know you're watching this because I know that you know whenever somebody's talking about you. He, do, he doesn't get negative or positive. We or haven't even control. linked this on Twitter, nor does he care or about of these kinds of things. Unless, no, 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 no. Well, see... Unless they're popular. Grant always knows when somebody's talking about it, though. Like, for no. some reason, like, he'll... It, it's, it, it's how it is, but, uh... You know, Alex, Alex. I, you know, I feel like, Alex, after you're done with Kingdom Hearts 1, one I'm probably gonna, gonna stop doing Kingdom Hearts 2, because I don't know if I... Because I don't feel like like having to repeatedly try to take on the optional bosses over and over again. And yeah, I, feel free, man. Yeah, I don't, don't feel. To, yeah, I don't feel like. Moved yeah. on long ago. I know, I I know I could have, but it's like I wanted to show that off at least. And the thing is, is like I don't have a problem with with wanting to do that. It's just I feel like that would really bog down any potential streaming schedule. And I was planning on taking a break. Ache after doing this and then doing the uh, recoded commentary, because yes, that's going to be after this game. Aim hey, Alex, just so you know. Oh, yeah, because Kingdom Hearts has the most fucked up timeline in the history of video games. It's a. Uh, it actually takes place after Kingdom Hearts 2. Like I said. Dude, there's oh a lot God. of in betweens afterwards, before words, and in between, in between, in between. There's only two that take. That take place directly after Kingdom Hearts 2, which are recoded mm. and um, and uh, frame drop distance. Away. In and trying to run away from you. And um, Birth by Sleep is a prequel to the first game. Aim and um, and and Kingdom Hearts. Ironically, you're Earth's, less scary um, when you've got. That's the big black monster behind you. You mean Come Guardian? Is that the Come Guardian? Dear God. <laughs> no, okay. no, that's just a meme that uh, people have made just because of how often um, Ansem like to say Come Guardian. Come Guardian in my ass. Yeah, and you want to know what the worst part is? Because of uh, because of Kingdom Hearts uh, three, we find Come out. Guardian also known as a condom. Anyways, I was saying, and so we, it, because of Kingdom Hearts three, we find out that that the guardian in 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 spirit that um, Ansem uses to defend himself, that's actually a um, Terra's heart. To which I'm like, oh god. Look, Sora. Everything the Alex, light. do you know who Emma Prevost is? No. Wow. He's an old school YouTuber that's been around for uh, several years at that point. He was uh, known for his uh, series Reaction Review, former series Epic Rants, as well as new series uh, Trading Card Corner and What's in the Box. He's mostly known for Reaction Review, where he records himself re uh, reacting at certain points of a movie giving his opinion afterwards and it's not like uh how it is nowadays where it's like he he re reacts to a whole movie and he, re and he records his entire reaction well i mean unfortunately but, he's not doing any yeah he's not doing it anymore but what i'm trying to say is why yeah what well it, what i'm trying to say is that it's not the reaction videos you know today it literally what it is is that he records himself the entire time watching a movie and he edits it to he only edits in parts where he actually gives critiques of the movie as he's watching it. At the end of the move at the end of the movie he's watching, that's when he starts giving a thorough critique and review of said movie. Yeah, and that yeah. was a, that was actual that's actually a pretty good format. Like 
It is. It doesn't look like anybody else is using it, though. It, it, it really is. Like, uh, and, it, and it's a shame that we'll never see him, we'll sadly never see him do any of these videos, you know, ever again. No. Because he passed away um, five years ago. He really was what was it? It was complications of hernia surgery. Yeah, people have been saying it's either he uh, collapsed at home or he's or or uh, it was a complications during surgery. But either way, he that yeah. same day he he unfortunately passed away. Yeah, it's uh, it was really unfortunate. He had a falling out with Ace a couple of years uh, prior, too. Yeah. What happened to that was uh, Emmer gifted him Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. Ace uh, gave a review of it, saying how he didn't much he didn't like it. And then Ever and then Emmer saw that and started going off on Ace because how dare yeah, he? Yeah, Emmer jumped the gun. Asa said Asa didn't say that he disliked or hated it. He said that it's not a bad game, but he he's had some but problems. You know, racing better already. And then Emmer just took that, you know, very personally. Uh... I mean, I get it. You gave a guy a free game, but at the same time, it's a video game. You're gonna, you're gonna eventually have someone have their review have their take on it sooner or later oh yeah you know i i had i remember getting uh, harry potter on the chamber of secrets and spyro enter the dragon flying gamecube for free as a christmas gift you really think i wasn't gonna rip into either one of those after done playing with the playing them especially spyro enter the fucking dragonfly He was good people. It's just that he he uh, he unfortunately made it easy to make enemies with them or get irritated. Like um, he had some strict rules about oh, his. Axel. Reaction. He had some strict reviews about his I'll reaction and review. Stop. He had some strict reviews about his uh, reaction and review series. Damn it. That would be and it, some of them were like still been in, been there since the beginning, but others. Uh, would pop up because of how many times he was disappointed. Like, for example, uh, there was a point in the, his career he said that he had to ban all shark movies from his from his uh, from his re review series. After what was it? After he reviewed Dino Shark, which is as bad as it sounds. I'm uh, sorry, Dino banned... Shark. What the fuck? It's as bad as it sounds. You know, there's a lot of bad shark movies. Uh, he also banned any any porno movies from being reviewed after I think it was the Batman porn parody from back in the day. Well, when I, I mean, say I can porn, kind of understand that, but yeah, when I say porn movies, though, I mean legitimately like high budget uh, movies that have porn in it, that kind of shit. Would um, you personally recommend uh, giving his videos a watch, Gizmo? I'd recommend him. Yeah, it, it's funny. It, it's funny to see a guy, uh, the see guy rip into mo uh, uh, rip into a lot of these movies uh, because, because of the euphemisms, or just you know because you know it's funny to see a guy rage. But uh, some of them are interesting takes. Some of them are hot takes. But you know it's you know that this is his honest opinion. He he hates. He doesn't like the idea of shilling. He doesn't like the idea of giving a good review because of it because of personal taste if you know what i mean like why are example, you telling uh, me to get back when you're trying to kill me axel like oh, when he reviewed uh, well, they're uh, trying to uh, they're trying to make you watch the beatles movie <laughs> like he reviewed uh scott pilgrim versus the world so would you say that um so would you say that at um that Axel is a Beatles fan? Yes. You remember who that is, right? 
dance. What a dance. Oh, he, Axel oh, is the I fire know. guy! Gizmo, I don't know if you saw, but Alex says that he remembers A. Salieri's very first reviewing a reviewer from back in the day. Oh, I, I yeah, I, I saw the, um, the reviewing a reviewer for the Irate Gamer. Turner was like, oh, holy shit, on. I've actually seen this video back in the day. Yeah, A. Salieri actually just came out with a new reviewing a reviewer. It's on uh, PPP. Oh, I remember oh, a guy called the, the uh, I remember that's, that's a guy the guy called the, the, the uh, review reviewer. And started screaming, singing slurs and doxing people. Did he people? have red hair? I don't know. He's a fat fuck with glasses. Yeah, and his name is Ashton too, which unfortunately he shares the name of Asa's, Ace Alieri's, uh youngest boy, um, Ashton. And I'm not really doxing or anything, that's, he, he, he's actually revealed his kids' names in the past, so. Uh, yeah, we've, we've talked about this. I think we've actually and talked about this live. And he's also revealed his own name, and he doesn't really give a shit. His, Eric Gady. I don't know how to pronounce Eric Gady. No, his real name is Asterix. <laughs> Real name is Asterisk. God. God damn it, Ben. Yeah. I know Gizmo's real name, but I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, Gizmo's it's... real name is Batman. Yeah, oh. Batman. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, shit, I guess the secret's out. Oh, real name. Alright, well, Gizmo, you gotta go. Everybody knows your real name now, Bruce Wayne. So, now you're dogs. And he lives in Gotham City. Bruce Wayne is Batman. Holy shit. That's absurd. I know Bruce Wayne. If he's Batman, I'm the king of England. And people say I'm crazy. <laughs> That's a really How did I? <laughs> eh, I've heard worse. I've heard worse Joker voices, period. Yup. Alan Tudyk. Butter Toast. Brent Spiner. Oh, yeah. Brent Spiner voice Brent Joker Spiner's in Young Joker Justice. Was terrible. What John the? DiMaggio. What John the? DiMaggio what? was also terrible. No, it wasn't. I think the John DiMaggio Joker was, uh, was okay. Bender? Yeah. Joker wants yeah. you to bite his shiny metal ass. Doesn't yes. look so shiny. Yeah, the voice to me. acting in the the voice acting in Under the Red Hood for everybody except for Jensen Ackles was terrible. What about Neil Patrick Harris's Nightwing? Ba, 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 I, haven't, ba, 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 I haven't seen that one in a while. But Neil Patrick ba, 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 Harris was very good as Spider Man, and so I'm inclined to give him him the benefit of the doubt. It's always seen, it's always surprising whenever I see that guy do, do anything uh, dramatically. Dramatic in anything superhero. Oh, well, yeah, because I always think of him as Barney from How I Met Your Mother. I always think of him as the psychic from uh, Star Trek. I always imagine that guy. I always think of him as the guy from uh, Starship Troopers, the psychic. Oh, yeah, he was in Starship Troopers. So that's Axel, a, that's I get a, it. The Beatles are great. I'll listen to their album after I kick your ass. That's a franchise you'll never see crossover with anything. What? We all prefer the yellow troopers. sweet to me. Yellow sweet to me. Yellow sweet to me. Don't like how often even those Starship troopers, troopers, troopers versus like Warhammer would be fucking amazing. Uh, no, not bugs. Yesterday. Dying and he seems so far away. away. Now my doctor says it's here to stay. I'm a little confused why they never made a TV show based off Starship Troopers. That entire world fascinates me on how anything works at all. It would be really good if they did a Starship Troopers TV show that might have been a bit more... Uh, faithful to the book. What if you, like, like I said, it's interesting how it would be interesting to see how that world works. Like, sort of like how Stargate showed how 
the entirety I love the of show. Stargate I movie was it. good too. Not as good as the show. I love the movie. I have I I love it so much I bought it on VHS the moment I saw it at Goodwill. Oh man. I still have the VHS because the VHS has a great cover. I have the Blu-ray, but the VHS has a great cover. Oh yeah. Stargate Murray got King Todd asshole. There's a reviewing a reviewer that I recommend for Alex, uh, reviewing your reviewer number nine, the one where he there we fucking go. The, you beat the him. The one with the shitty reviewer. Yeah. All right, now you're on the last phase of the boss fight. Awesome. I didn't do no shit, Kuroba. Just remember, dankness is everything, and you. And for the last FMB in the game, Alex, you're gonna need to mute the audio because simple and clean plays. Wouldn't it be interesting to see what would happen if the Punisher somehow appeared in the, the world of Starship Troopers? I don't yeah, think Alex that would work. Ah, ha ha ha, Yeah, YouTube from Nazis, I said it. You know, I still find it interesting how of all the roles that Quentin Flynn could come back to voice acting to, it had to be Cone from Bleach. Cone's fucking funny. He's a man of culture as well. Oh yeah. I mean he happens. I mean he did want to go back to the house full of all the Zompakto women in Thousand Year Blood War. Um Yes and no. Cause I don't know oh if I wanna because if I, I don't know if I want to find out how it feels to be fucked by a sword. Yeah, but it's not the sword. You're 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 fucking the personification of said sword. Gizmo, you don't understand. Wasn't Quentin Flynn also Timon at some point? Yes. So he's played a running before. Yeah. The joke is that Cone is also a fucking rodent. Holy shit. Not really. He might as well be. He's a bear plushie. Yes. As small as a damn rodent. Okay. Um. It's a brand new day and the sun is high. I, I'm gonna go hit the restroom real quick so that I can uh, have a have a god damn it, Axel. Focused mind while I'm pause the game first. You think uh, anything could cross over with Starship Troopers? I don't know. I think it would be interesting to see. It was just Spider-Man and Starship Troopers. As a soldier, like, 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 he, like he's a character, like he like comes to the world of Starship Troopers, or is there like a Starship Troopers version of Spider-Man? Probably, oh, he's probably out right to get dumb. Yeah, that is a good question, though. Imaginary friend taking the dump. What? I was quoting the Boondocks. Riley you... was making fun of Huey's for, uh, because there was this secret, like, service agent that was following Huey around and only Huey could see him. Let's do really see him. It was from the episode where, uh... Huh? Oh, he's gonna be Spider-Man. Fucking hell! Or Spider-Man going to the world of Starship Troopers. Either one of those would work. I don't know how the hell you'd have Spider-Man in the world of Starship Troopers without him him having been transported there personally. Okay, so Alex, you have a guide open to see how you can beat the boss? Uh, I'm gonna look one up, yes. Yeah, you might... Yeah, you might want to, since... It's first you gotta first you because the most I could tell you is like hit him is like hit is like you gotta take it you gotta hit an ansom then you gotta hit hit the ship if that he's flying on 
The one that he's tied to? Yes. Huh. I mean, if someone was able to make Spider-Man Noir crossing over with the Legend of Korra work, I, I think we could. I think there could be a way for Spider-Man to cross over with uh, uh, Starship Troopers to work. Noir and Legend of Korra, is that what you said? Yeah, someone made a fan fiction of Spider-Man Noir crossing over with Korra, like him in her huh. world. Yeah, I don't. I don't see how Spider-Man like gets the spider powers in the world of Starship Troopers. I think ah! it makes sense if you have a Spider-Man from another universe go and like do the trip to a dimension next door thing. You know, that would be interesting. That would be more interesting to see. Yeah. Oh, what okay. about the Hulk? Start by oh, fighting a flying style fight against the giant ants and body. All he does is swing Soul Eater and summon little laser beams. Erogo yeah. will take care of half the problem by deflecting the beams. Okay. Or, or you know, like the fight with Chernabog, okay? Oh, I didn't upgrade it to Eroga. Erora. I have Arrow. Arrow? I love that Michael Ironside is actually a character in the fucking Star Trek Troopers. Uh, Darkside? Yep. You know what I just you know what I just realized? Michael Ironside voiced Dark Side. Really? You just realized that now? No, see, 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 Michael Ironside, Dark Side. Yeah, no, as in you just realized that joke now? Okay, yeah, there you go. I realized it before, but I forgot about it until tonight. Somehow. Yep. I pressed the square button with the control stick. Nothing occurred! Ah, uh, Kevin's showing that hammy anger again. Alex. I I I am pressing the buttons. Nothing is occurring. Captain Kevin, America. you must This reminds me hand. of the... This reminds me of, uh... The, uh, the Egg Carrier from Sonic Adventure. Except a lot smaller. Yeah. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Uh, Mason. Mason. Mason, you don't get it. Get a load of this until after you, you get. Until after Eggman commands the ship to transform. No way! I can't believe this. That's after you defeat Chaos. And whenever he needs to say, no way, I don't believe this. Okay. Dude, you maybe want to step away from the fucking mic. Who? The guy voicing whatever the fuck his name is. Handsome? That's Billy Handsome, Zane? Yes. Yeah, Billy Zane. <laughs> Billy, do you, mind, do you mind stepping away from the mic? Alex, he's not going to be able to because Disney can't afford him for the next game. Oh, so he stepped away from the mic permanently, then. Disney can't afford it. That's bullshit. Disney's got money to burn. It, it was just probably not. Square couldn't afford it. Disney? Disney? Uh, Disney Tetsuya Nomura was in charge of most of the casting in... Most of the casting of the main characters in this game. Jack Nicholson was too expensive for Disney, though. What was he supposed to play? Hades. Um, huh? It was Hades. Wait, Kevin, you, Kevin, did you say? What I you said say? Hades. Yeah. But James Woods was the voice of Hades. Yeah, but yeah. Jack Nicholson was initially pegged to play the role. Oh. You're saying that Disney, the guy, the guys that bought fucking Marvel and Lucas films, are Archie bastards? Yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
Uh, what was the deal that Jack Nicholson? Jack Nicholson wanted wanted, wanted mid profits on every bit of Hades merchandise. There wasn't really enough merchandise for Hades to begin with. Yeah. Kind of so similar to the... kind of similar to his deal with um Bat with um Joker and Batman. Yeah. Well, he didn't really need the money at that point. He'd already made a shitload of money off of Joker. Yeah, I, I, oh, and they, another fun, actor they were also considering for Hades before they ultimately went to James Wood was, um, was, um, fuck, uh, John Lithgow. Oh. Huh. Huh. That would have been strange. Yes, especially considering we know Hades as a motor mouth. Yeah. Funnily enough, the animators for Hercules had to animate around, um, James Wood's dialogue again. It was a chore. Was most of it with, with, with as fast as he speaks. No. Oh yeah. Oh, my no, I surprised. mean as in the animation, and had to work with him talking. Yeah, like I said, as fast as he speaks, the animation. And they'd have to really do some heavy work on those flaps. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not like with the with the what they do with the Kingdom Hearts game, games later down the line due to the fact that um, um the lift flaps were made before the for the Japanese version, not the uh, English dub. Yeah. And so. When did Kingdom Hearts? Th what year did Kingdom Hearts three come out? Um, twenty nineteen. Oh, okay. So that was probably James Woods' last voice with that because he's been blacklisted from the he's, he's still under contract like with disney and unless they break the con they've broken the contract they can't fire him in this hades yeah. oh okay because i know he got blacklisted just because he's a just because he's a republican I do like his shit posts. Yeah. Like, I, I think his shit posts are what got him blacklisted. And uh, Neon Rainbow Lion wants to call him a stupid dumbass has been. And yet that has been. No, still that's making... Neon Rainbow Lion. And yet that yeah. has been still making bank from a role he did years ago. You realize he doesn't. He probably doesn't care. He's swimming in that money. Neon Rainbow Lions are fun, and I'm so glad that he's not in the ice and It's like it's like saying that Sean Schimmel is a has been. It's like okay, but he's still swimming in that Goku money. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I mean, Sean Schimmel's in. And SJW. Asshole. Yeah, say what you want about his ethics and politics and stuff like that. You, you can't really say he's a has been if he's still swimming in that fucking money. In that Goku money. Yeah, he's like Goku money. He's like, oh, Jack Nicholson, he's a has been. Yeah, okay. He's still swimming in that Batman money. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Shining money. Yep. Jack Nicholson's so well. It's either that he's probably really good with yes, or that killed he Axel. Has people, or that he has people. That oh, did you beat with. Ansem? I have not beat Ansem. No. I don't really think it matters considering how. Look, well, Jack he, Nicholson is also really good at investment too, because yeah, he really? he, like, he invests money and and like winds up having his money just pay for itself. Ultimately, does he invest he, like, in cryptocurrency? Uh, he, he was big into the, into the art scene back in, like, the late 90s, early 2000s, and he made a buttload of money off of that, that before the bottom dropped out on, actually, the bottom still hasn't dropped out on the modern art scene, and so he's, he's pretty much guaranteed to still be making money off of that stuff. Yeah, um, give it time, even if it does drop, he's still making money. Uh-huh. Because I know Bill Cosby and, uh, has Bitcoin right now and um that's another thing thing like ashton kutcher did something similar or he's he's an investor for big time and that's why you don't see him doing a whole lot but lately he can just yeah. he can basically just pick and choose to do whatever the fuck he wants 
right? Now, he's, people, uh, people gotta beg for him to be in a in something yeah. now. Because he's he's independently wealthy these days. Yeah, a lot of these celebrities, they might as well just be swimming in the money. Considering a lot of them are leg a lot we have a lot of legacy actors that are well, then, that people love. Then you have people who are like really really bad with their money. And it's like like okay. Dude. And like Andy Dick. uh who's an ex who's an example? Andy of Dick. He's spending his money on fucking drugs and he won't stop and he's a jackass too. He's a horrible human uh, being. Axel Rose. Axel Rose has spent just about every cent of the money. He, MC the, uh, Hammer. The rest of Guns N' Roses spent pretty much every cent of the money they made on the, uh, on the tour they did with Metallica. MC Hammer. Really? MC Hammer was also let's be a really little bit, bad with money. Let's be a little bit fair here. That wasn't entirely Hammer's fault. That was also, well, he had a bad money manager. He had a bad account. Really? Oh, okay. Because I knew, I, I knew he, lo I knew he got bankrupt, bankrupt somehow. What? Yeah, there were a bunch of people. Let me see. I think Hammer. Hammer and Wesley Snipes both got done for tax fraud, I think. Yes. And, uh... Dance, water, dance. And it was down to some shit with their accountants, I think. There's a reason why that joke exists when, uh, Wesley Snipes' character got recruited into the Expendables. What you in for? <laughs> what you in for? But yeah, here's another Nation. one who's bad with his money, and this one will really surprise you, Gizmo. Paul Heyman. Bankruptcy. Um, no, I think it's more bad luck. Huh. I mean, think about it. He was able to run ECW for a while, then it got bought by Vince McMahon. To him, that's pretty much you're in the big leagues. And then ECW got shut down. That's not really his fault, that's more McMahon's fault, because he wanted to just be the only fucking, you know, wrestling industry in the world. He bought the WCW and ECW. Now, if he, now if he gets the chance and he bought any, you know, for some reason out of nowhere buys, let's say, TNA and, e and AEW, you know those two companies are gonna go in the shutter. That's a not, that's not TNA those guys' fault. First. That's not those guys' fault, that's more McMahon's fault. He wants to be the only one in the industry, if you haven't noticed. He is not gonna say it out loud. You know that's what he's thinking. And that's not, and ECW shutting down, that's really not Paul Heyman's fault. He tried to do the best he can. That's, and people want ECW to come back, that's why Tommy Dreamer is the head of a hardcore, hardcore wrestling organization himself. I don't like it, at Demix. I really want Hammer's him. money troubles started because he he ripped off a couple of his songs. Oh, which one? Um, here comes, here comes the well. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can't touch this with a sample from Rick James Super Freak, Nick, but that was that was settled out of court uh, as sort of like a royalty deal with Rick James. But uh, here comes the hammer. And uh, there, was a, there were another couple of songs things where he got sued for uh, sampling, it, for unauthorized it's sampling. I stole that joke from Chris Wall. Yeah, yeah. Hammer got done for tax fraud a few uh, about thirteen or fourteen years ago, I think. Yeah, I think I heard something about that. And that was, uh... Tommy Tallarico. Oh, Tommy Tallarico. Oh, that, uh... that, that guy's a fucking mess. He, I mean, look, he had no one. Watch an H-Bomber, guys. Uh, you will never hear me recommend somebody watch an H-Bomber guy video, but go watch H-Bomber guy's video about him. Because he, he, like, breaks down a bunch of shit. I feel like he had his heart was in the right place. It's just that 
when shit started going down, that's when he started no. panicking. Ah. Yeah, he, he, he said exactly that. He went... Arr, blah, blah. No, what I what no, I am groaning no, at no, is no. the fact that I can't kill goddamn Demix. Dance, want to dance. That's Shut up! That's what you get. Okay, still doing, so, but anyway, I still do so better than... Reef, I feel like his heart was in the right place if he, that he wanted to make a, a console for, like, the, the kitties and the families and stuff like that, even though, you know, we already have a lot of Nintendo oh, yeah. shit and parental locks. Anyway, so... Uh, I feel like when stuff wasn't really going his way, that's when he was starting to lie. That's when he started, like, you know, being secretive and shit like that. I don't feel like that's entirely his fault, but... Uh, he's a pathological liar. He's been yeah. lying think about everything think forever, basically. Hey, like, H-Bomber guy is a... For as much as I would otherwise be unwilling to trust a lot of what H-Bomber guy says, is he has... Harris actually backs up everything in that video with like hardcore facts pretty much and you he, say he rolls down huh did you say harris yeah that's h bomb that's what the h and h bomber guy stands for oh okay i thought you were about to tell me something about kamala harris yeah, think about it like this way yeah. though if anybody wants to make a console you know they want to make a console it's not like we're not Soulja talking about, uh, yeah, we're not talking about Soja Boy here who said, oh, I made this, this is my console, I got permission from Nintendo, even though that's At the very cool. least, Tommy was, Tommy was a little bit open about, about how, how, like, like, we're, we're basically dreaming stuff up, you right. know. Oh, like, we've got a bunch of industry visionaries here, and we're, hey. we're trying to dream stuff up, uh, but then... And like, as those people, left, ah! he uh, as those people left, he wasn't really uh, as open as as he yeah. was towards the beginning, and he was That's he was I trying think. to trying to rest on his laurels and, and shore things up using the the stuff that he'd already somewhat achieved, debatably, <laughs> debatably, yes. <laughs> He's still making money off of uh, the what was it called? Uh, video games live, though. I can think yeah, it's video crazy. games. I mean, that's still a, still a pretty cool show. Oh yeah, but Wish it was I mean, nobody can really more. argue with nobody can really argue with video games live being a cool show. Almost, I like I just wish it was advertised more and advertised better because I literally have to look it up to know about it. Like I don't. It's not like it's not getting as much attention as say Shenyun. Like, I'm not seeing, like, an advertising on the side of a bus, like, on the on a bus stop. I'm not seeing posters. Like, I literally have to go online to find out about that kind of thing. It's kind of messed up if you think about it. Like, only online? Come on, bro. You can at least have one poster or one billboard advertising when that's going to come along. Oh yeah. Speaking of so, uh, speaking of uh, money lose, uh, losing money, uh, Soldier Boy, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> we know none of this shit's yours. We know you didn't talk to Nintendo or Sega or Sony John Trump or did Microsoft. A great video on that. Review. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna post. poke fun at Gizmo for a little bit, Alex. Gizmo follows Momokun on Twitter. Bro, why? It's <laughs> fine to me. Did she do something? You don't remember I mean, us that conversation we had, Gizmo? About yeah, that what bee she... thing. Like her, she looks a little puffy. Okay. No, 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 not that. I'm talking about what she's done at. Comics. Alex, you forgot you could skip oh, yeah. cutscenes, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah I remember no, I'm, now. I'm just not <laughs> in any big hurry to fight him again. You do realize if you don't um, beat him, you'll never beat the game. <laughs> Oh, I understand. The station thing, you know, that's already been settled. She's already been exposed. And like, if she, if it's one, it's one thing if she keeps on doing it, and then she, the, she then goes to say shit like, oh, it was out of my control. You know, uh, I'm a lady. Yada yada. Don't, uh, ladies can't get in trouble for this. Yada yada. It's like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not following her anymore. But all she did was molest people, and she got exposed for it. I'm, 
she got exposed. She all she did. It. All she broke people and blamed it on ADD. I fuck that then. Hold on, let me just. No, 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 I'm not gonna tell you to unfollow her. Nope, 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 nope. That, was, that, was, enough. that, that was, was enough. That was enough. That was enough. Like, I, I get that your reason for following her is purely superficial, but. Yep. Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna tell that. you to unfollow her, dude. That's that's not gonna yeah, be I mean, we, we're 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 we just wanted to have a laugh at your expense. Yes, mom. Yeah, I'm still here. Good. We just wanted to have a little laugh at your expense. We're, we're we yeah, more guys. You gave me a follow her. We just me a. You gave me an opportunity to fill up my potions before this, between I, the last battle and this one. Uh, sorry, between the last two battles. Why don't you let me do it here? Because. And by the way, Asa was right. Momo Kun does do hardcore porn now. Uh, yes, yeah, she does. I thought I was the one who told you that. It was either you or A. Salieri that said it on the screen. <laughs> And, and yeah, like, I'll be honest, yeah, she's hot, but she is a horse. She is a terrible human being. No! Why am I not allowed to finish you? You son of a bitch! <laughs> wow, she does do hardcore porn. It's up on, like, Spank Bank and everything else. Oh, God. Gizmo's actually looking it up right now. That's our Gizmo. ba da ba ba da ba boink Superman! I literally don't have to click on a link. Literally, I put, the, I put in Momocon porn on Google, and the first thing that comes up is Spank Bank Momocon porn by Shoujo Mom and Penny Underbus videos. She's on Spank Bank, okay. Thought, Thought Hub, that's fucking funny, Internet Chicks, Edome. The, that's, the, that's not how you, okay, whatever. Dirty, dirty shit. Um, Dirty shit. Okay. You're gonna be looking, at, gonna be looking at that shit all night after the stream's over, aren't you? On the news.com, the thought hub, porn hub, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I'm still on following her. Fuck her. And no, not in that way. She don't deserve it. Ah! Gizmo, don't lie. You'd still smash. Nope, not anymore. Uh, that makes this driving me up a goddamn wall. Uh, <laughs> I don't uh, want to dance with your goddamn water, you fruitcake. We can dance if we want to. We can leave that friend sure. behind. Because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, so well, they're no friends of mine. I mean, I guess it's really fitting wanted. that she does hardcore porn now because a lot of porn, because there are quite a few porn artists that are not good human beings. Janet Mason? Huh? Who? No, oh, that's a porn artist that comes to mind that's, that's kind of hearted. Oh. I don't know who that is. Yeah, apparently her last name is my first name. Yeah, there's a lot of porn artists out there that actually have a good heart. Uh, really? And, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just, you know, you just, you just don't have to, you, you, all you have to do is not be Mia Khalifa. I, I know yeah. there's, I know there's a gay porn artist who was a real piece of shit because there was a porn artist who committed suicide because she refused to do a scene. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Oh, you're talking about porn. not a porn act. Huh? Yeah. What's her name? Was oh, that uh, August Ames? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's it. August Ames. Yeah. And if my girlfriend sees this stream, she's probably going to kill me for just for knowing about that porn star. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on. She's probably seen some... She, she's I mean, probably that made seen the a lot fucking of... news. You've probably seen a lot of BBC herself when she looked up Pornhub. But I mean, like, um. 
she ah. like, killed herself because Pete because SJWs were calling her homophobic. Uh, yeah, homophobic. Just because yeah. she wouldn't uh, like, do people thought that she was homophobic with a guy who do. wouldn't even do an AIDS test. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the gay and this. This and and this bisexual porn artist, or th there was another gay porn artist that said, um, "Okay, we're talking. Yeah. This is a difference between porn artists and porn performers." Um, he he said that. What did he say? Like people think, he told think about her artists. To take you think about people who draw the stuff. So if you don't think about uh, like live action. Oh, okay. So to speak. Yeah. Well. Uh, Porn star, uh, gay porn star. He he told August Ames to take a suicide pill or cyanide pill. I think. Uh, fucking Christ. Yeah. But... All right, we're gonna try to take on Luxord again. Damn, what a night this has been. The first to run out of time. Does anybody even go to Pornhub anymore? A challenge is I oh, haven't I since they banned the ultimation can account from the SFW section. I mean, I fought. They basically deleted oh. the whole safer work section, to be honest. They ruined the I'm probably shit. the only guy on the stream who has fucked. Okay. <laughs> Not really, but okay. Wait. <laughs> All of us have probably done more than a lot. That's Come on. The thing is, uh, when Pornhub starts removing shit Decker that's, Help me. that's legal, it. it's just... You gotta beat up Ansem, and then you can go oh, rescue there's... Donald and Goofy. I mean, there is a reason why Pornhub had to do what they did. It's because they were sneaking in highly illegal shit. Yeah, but at that point, you don't just, you don't just try and ruin it for everyone else. You fire the people who let it slide to begin with and hire new people. Yeah. You know, like, don't worry for everyone else. That's like, that's like me trying to ban uh, all meats from my store just because uh, a slice of turkey made someone sick. It's like, no, that's yeah, a little basically. unfair. That's a little unfair yeah. for not only the people supplying us, but also for the customers who come here to buy it. You know, you, you fire the you fire the people who, who accepted it in the first place. And then you start regulating. Then you start. Then you start hiring the people who care enough that they don't just let something slide. You know. And then you start regulating a little more. And then you get. Then you get back in the game. You don't just. You don't just. You know. Remove everything, and then have, say, "Oh no, you got to be verified if you want to put that shit up." It's like fuck you, Pornhub. You don't see. Funny thing. Do. We had a verified account. Yeah, that is account. pretty asinine. Hey, somebody uh, pinged me somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. It, it's nothing. Like, what were you saying, Alex? No, oh, I was just saying we did have a verified account on there. There was just. You Excuse know, me? You. There was oh, no. Oh, shit! It was, Guys, it was a safe, Alex was a safe for work account. No, it was a safe for work section. <laughs> it's oh, deleted man. now. The only thing that was uploaded there, there was uh, Evangelion Alternative Saga. Yep. Damn, Alex. I thought you were about to tell us that you were secretly a porn star. By the way, Alex, I'm still looking forward to the rest of three. I... Ah! Yes, if I can ever maintain my sanity long enough to beat this boss, maybe that'll happen. Ow! <laughs> I'm, Maybe that'll happen. I was working oh. on, I was working on some of three yesterday, and it was going pretty good. And then Premiere crashed. I didn't lose any work. It just made me hey, want to fucking punch something. So 
I didn't, for the record. I just wanted to. It was like that Pro ZD sketch where you're like, like rearing back and it's like. Eh. Gizmo, are you sure Anthony Logato shouldn't be in our in Ace's Discord? Yes. He doesn't know when to stop the horny. Oh shit! And, and, and Gallandun does know what a does know who Eight Log is. Fuck. Well, you guys have explained it to me. I believe. I didn't know, know that A Log was an actual person. I, he's cringe. I, I all I knew was the term for the longest time. Yeah, he's a guy who was almost exactly like Chris Chan, but almost. That's enough for and me. And would rag on Chris Chan a lot. Would make these cringe ass commentaries on Chris Chan, but would. And everything I have learned about Chris Chan has like been against my will. But was actually just like him. Wait, what'd you say? Everything I have learned about Chris Chan has been against my will. Well, for me, honestly, it, it's been like some half and half. Like, some of it has been against my will, some of it I. Morbid curiosity. Yeah. Curious. Blockbuster Chris. I mean, shit, would you be? I mean, come on. Blackbuster Creek introduced me to Chris Chan. I first discovered Chris Chan through this one video, this A Team intro parody, where instead of the A Team, it was the Autism Team. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. And, and I learned more about him. At, I think it was, it was actually 2011 where I learned more about him. Or where I first heard of him. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Who cares? I guess Dude I do. doesn't look like a lady. I guess I do care because I'm talking about it. So. <laughs> I still hope Chris Chan gets put into a mental asylum or jail for the rest of his life. Well, his next hearing is in four days. No one's gonna put up with him. I hope when he goes to jail, he somehow creates the same kind of strange cult that he has outside of the jail. It's gonna be like that, uh, it's gonna be like that scene in Beavis and Butthead, uh, uh do the universe where... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know Beavis just wanders into the jail, and Beavis just wanders into prison, and all the, all the prisoners are like, yeah, we don't have enough TP. They're disrespecting our bungholes, and they just like protest in his name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, like that. That, that was that was fucking hilarious. That's a really good. Uh, that was a really good movie too. Be this butthead do the universe. There's a uh, oh fuck. Uh, there was a uh, social justice feminism thing going on in that movie, but it actually turned out a lot better than it'd be a great to be. parody. Yeah. Like, yeah, and wonder... there was this, like, white SJW, like, trying to, uh, talk... So what happens is that Beavis and Butthead walk into, background. like, uh... They wander into a gender studies class, and they once they mention that he's gonna hook up with a, ch uh, hook up with a chick and, and that she's a slut, everyone starts muttering in disgust, and the teacher's like, Oh, no, no, hold on, they're saying slut in a, in a positive tone, and then they... They start like teaching them the two about light privilege, and they're like, "Oh, you, <laughs> they're like, you open their eyes, yeah, thank you." Yeah, and they all, we have light privilege. And then the moment they get out of the classroom, they literally start do taking and eating whatever they want in the school. Like they, they, they take a lot of shirts and a lot of memorabilia, putting it in their pockets. They, they go into the lunch room and literally steal everyone's lunch, saying, "We have light privilege." We do what we want, you know, we're taking advantage of the system. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Up oh, here we go. Oh, man. Damn it! Die. Die, 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 die. Ugh, Luxor, I fucking hate uh. you. God damn it. Napa. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't have the energy to do the voice. God damn it, Napa! 
See, now, you have to, now you're making me. Oh, God damn it, Nappa. <laughs> Nappa. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Goku. <sighs> Let's try this again with a bit more passion. No. Yeah. Stop him. Damn it, Roshi. Shut up, Krillin. Go back, Go back to your dick. You mean you USS my dick? dick? Yes. Would you like to see my dick? Please tell me he means the submarine. Pig? Please tell me he means the submarine. <laughs> 17 years! 17 years you've been holding on to that one! You don't know the patience I have. Pig, you, you don't know the know? patience I have. And Gizmo is the Master Roshi of our stream. The man of culture of the stream. <laughs> Alright, let's try to okay. fight man sex. I can tell you what hentai not to watch, not only because of the quality, but because it's fucking disgusting. Uh... A1 I know? probably could tell you too. Bible Black, watch. Kurainu, watch. Rumsem, I think there's a Dio watch. song called Bible Black. Or something. There's a song called Bible Black. Like, it's really good. I can't remember who did it. I don't. And you know, there's an interesting edit that somebody did of the. Uh, of the unknown figure in um, K H um, one, Un that this one of the secret bosses in Final Mix. Someone split. Someone basically took the voice clips of Zemnis in this boss fight. I and spliced it in with that. And since and Zemnis is the unknown guy. So Alex, how long are you gonna be ramming that or your head against that black that um brick wall? Black wall, what? Uh pro it's racist. Probably not awesome. much longer. Are you almost done? American wall. I was almost done and then I died. Oh there you go, Gizmo. That's that's actually those are actually the kind of videos you could make. You could be the hentai critic. Yeah, you, so basically yeah, the son of a snob. Be sure to review Sailor in the Seven Balls. God. <laughs> I remember that shit. Jesus Christ. You can that still buy copies of that from Right Stuff. Oh, fuck. I still can't can. believe Kara Strong follows uh, Zone's Twitter page. I believe so. Secretly a woman of culture. And I'd still bang those titties. Yeah. You do realize there was, was that one Zone parody of Raven and Gar? Yes. She's like, and yes, Kevin, I know, I know that Tara Strong is a hypocrite, but, like, you can be a stupid hypocrite or a terrible human being and still be hot. If you're a terrible human being, I don't care how hot you look. Look, I ain't, ain't doing that. Human being, though, she's just, you know... Confused about priorities, I guess, if you want to put it that way. I wonder if, uh. If there was a fuck Mary yeah. kill, uh, she'd be in the Mary pile. Really? Thank God Momokun's not a serial oh, killer. Oh, yeah. Why not? I don't. Again, I don't care how hot you are. You you act like scum, I'm not gonna care. She doesn't <laughs> act like scum, she just like. Act like scum, you don't get the cum. <laughs> yep. Not what it's I not intended, like, you know, but whatever. It's not like she's <laughs> saying stuff like, you know, fuck these kids, let them die, or anything like that. She, she's just misguided on a lot of stuff that she be either believes in or is against. Like the... Oh my like, god! Like, like how she follows PETA. 
Fia and Fia, a lot of people don't know how bad they are. Myself, you do realize that PETA is a horrible organization that actually is doesn't know that. Oh my god, Zemnis, stop and doing the twirly thing! Anybody who follows PETA is, is misguided and doesn't know much about what they've done behind the scenes. The people who don't follow PETA know how monstrous they really are and know what they do behind the scenes. I feel like because of how busy Tara Strong is with her voice acting career, she really doesn't know much about PETA except that they're against unethical She also doesn't music. backstab people. She didn't backstab Jim Cummings. She didn't backstab Kevin Conroy when Kevin Conroy said what was voiced his disapproval of the BLM riots. Yeah. I I'm guessing that people oh that she God. is currently friends with, she doesn't backstab over different political views. Which is surprising. The one what thing you... that really surprised uh, me Guys, I think Alex has transformed into Bakugo. Yes. The one thing that really surprises me is that she follows Vic Mignogna on Twitter. That thing is she's not, you know, fully sh uh, social justice. She just believes no. in certain things that... No, she's ah! really great to lie Breakdown, breakdown, oh, now nobody knows what's going on. I'm just gonna let Kevin take the floor off this one. <laughs> I swear to God. He's I not here right now. Damn it. I think. He died uh, again. Yeah, I actually thought at first that Grey Delisle yep. was that got Kevin banned from uh, Twitter the first time. I got banned, and because as Chrissy Rubin decided. It is sender followers to report me for stupid shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Have you checked to see... Have what? you checked to see if, uh, if it got unbanned? I'm not... I don't... I'm not willing to... I'm not willing to check. Okay. I mean, you could probably check... I mean, not, I mean you don't have to check right now. I mean, I guess one of us could check. Yeah, all it's you can check. Alex is never is probably never gonna get well he wasn't gonna get banned before because like ninety percent of his Twitter is just retweets. <laughs> Speaking of internet, uh, the it's a one year anniversary of the Italian Senate being invaded by Cloud railing Tifa's ass. <laughs> yep. Yep, planting his buster it's sword or in Tifa. It's, it's been a whole year since that happened. It's still hilarious that they tweeted the fucking login credentials to the meeting out. Why would they do that? Because they're dumbass. Because they don't know how, the know how Twitter worked. I used to be sex offender. Now I am high school teacher. Are you sure that's not I am Kamushita? A sex offender. I stuck my dick into a blender. Your mom is a transgender. Literally, the guy that was that. Uh, so what happened was. So what happened was when uh, the Italian Senate meeting was happening, and he played the video of Cloud railing Tifa in the ass. He well, shouted he out. Two in videos of Cloud railing Tifa in the ass. He <laughs> shouted out in the microphone. I used to be a sex offender. Now I am an elementary school teacher. And everyone just stood there, sat there quietly as they watched Cloud Mang and Tifa. And there's this one woman trying to hide her smirk as she watches. That woman is secretly based. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh... So, oh, now Alex, how did, overall, how did you feel about Kingdom Hearts 1? Um, I still have no idea what the story is about. Um, we started off as a kid who lives on an island, and then now we're fighting a, a dragon ship in space. And I'm still not entirely clear how we got from point A to point B. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts. Point A to point Z.
Donald, stop saying I have it when you don't clearly have it. You, you don't. You don't. He never does. And yet he'll keep trying. I have it. Now he says, I've got it. Nico B it. ended up turning that into a friggin' meme it. in his, his streams of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> We're gonna up. make Kingdom Hearts great again, people. Don't give up. So how do you feel about fighting a shirtless Billy Zane? Well, I feel like I ought to have Leonardo DiCaprio with me. Does he have a gun? Titanic would have Titanic would have been much more epic if it ended with a Yakuza style fist fight on top of the Titanic between the two. Oh you mean Zane. Oh you mean like in the uh, bootleg NES video game? Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> the Titanic horror movie. Did no, you Gizmo, Titanic you don't No, Gizmo, you don't understand. There's a uh, Titanic video game. Aim on the Titanic. Uh, yes, the Titanic. Yeah. But I know about that. But do you also know that there's a horror movie based off the Titanic as well? Uh, Titanic Two, I think it was called. Titanic Six Six Six. What the fuck? Yeah. So what it is that a bunch of guys trying to make another Titanic, and they're, oh, they, fuck. they make they created a museum in said Titanic Two Ow. as a way to uh, uh, pay respect to the people that died. So, and then there's this, so while that happens, that's happening, there's a stowaway that's, that resurrects the spirits of the, the people that died in the Titanic. Oh, you mean like Ghostbusters 2? So, yeah, I was about to say, this sounds a lot like Ghostbusters 2, but less funny. That's like, this one is more ironically funny than anything. No, Ghostbusters, let's just watch Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2 is a good movie. Ghostbusters 2 is a good movie. Are you sure about that, Alex? Yes. Yes, Ghostbusters 2 is a great movie, even. You stand by the strangest opinions. Man, maybe Deanna's gonna kill you for saying that. It is a good movie, it's just not as good as the It's better than The Empire Strikes Back. No, it fucking isn't! Oh my you, god, dude! You want your ass beat, don't you? It's a much better sequel. <laughs> no! Next you're gonna tell me the Last Airbender live-action movie is great. The Last part. Airbender live-action movie is terrible for a number of reasons, and one of which being Paramount cutting the budget production schedule right before filming. It could have worked, it should have worked, but it didn't work. Each... Each saga, like each book from the TV show, was supposed to be made into uh, at least two movies. His, I think it started off as three. It got cut down to two, and then, then right before filming, I mean, they told Shyamalan he could only get one out of each book, and and he was like, "Well, fuck. What do I do with this now?" And, one. Uh... And for as much as for as much as though that film is his fault, that film is also Paramount's fault. Balls. Paramount what? Paramount can suck balls. Can Paramount suck. are also the people who made that first, nin let that first Ninja Turtles film happen. And, and the second Ninja Turtles film was really good. The first one, okay, not really good, but it was like, it was a Turtles movie. The first one was not a Turtles yes! movie. YES! Killed Lexius! It had to do with the Ninja Turtles. It was still oh, better than the They pussied story. out, and they didn't commit to having Eric Sachs be... The, uh, the shredder. the shredder. Okay. They did Casey Jones dirty and made him boring. They did uh, what now? I mean, Stephen Amell was all right. It was just, you know. Nope. Nope. Don't you dare say he was all right. He was fucking boring. And he was a cop. Casey Jones ain't no cop. He's literally a guy who decided to just go out and become a superhero because fuck you. That's why. And got a bunch of his sports equipment, and do it. Fuck you! Uh, fuck you! He was all right. No, fuck, he was he was boring. Boring. Oh god, sorry. I had, I was just. Ooh. They could have just taken notes from the goddamn twenty oh twenty oh nine cartoon or twenty twenty. 
2001 cartoon. Taking notes from the 2003 cartoon. Or the movie. But then again, this is the, like, look, I'm just happy that they didn't... I'm just happy that they did, did what they did with that film and didn't do what they did with the first film. Ninja Turtle movie. Although it did lead to one of my least favorite jokes in Arrow Season 5. Which is... You know that guy who's knockoff Casey Jones in Arrow? Sportsmaster. No, Sportsmaster is not knockoff Casey Jones in Arrow. No, a wild dog is... God, uh, when was the last time I heard that name? <clears throat> yeah, wild dog is knockoff Casey Jones in Arrow. He actually appeared in Arrow? Yeah, he's a member of the team. Why? Because they decided the Arrowverse didn't have enough characters. Why Wild Dog, though? No idea. So, first in my memory, because it's been a while since I actually read a Wizard magazine, Wild Dog is the hockey fan-looking motherfucker that carries around a machine gun and has a hockey mask. Yes. With the Mad Dog logo on his shirt. Yes. Which happens to be a, jer uh, uh, a hockey jersey. Yes. Fuck that. I would have told that guy you're fired the moment he uttered that name out of his mouth. Hey, can we introduce a new character? Uh, okay, sure. Who? Speedy? Oh, no, I was thinking that maybe... We already had both Speedies, and we kind of alienated the guy who played Roy Harper, and he refuses to come back to the show now. Oh, you for some you. reason, and the girl who plays Thea isn't, isn't, you know, gonna be much help, even well, though she's sir. still in the show. But sir, I was thinking we could introduce Mad Dog into the equation. You're fired. <laughs> Mad Why Dog. do you sound like the squeaky voice team from The Simpsons? Why do we need more characters? We don't Why need do we more need characters. Dog? The Arrowverse shows had too many characters already. And they kept adding more. Like the Flash is the solo hero, and then he gets this entire her supporting cast full of either original characters or repurposed characters. And you mean like the fact that they ended up using Black Wally West instead and Killer of Killer Frost? Like... Killer Frost is part of his supporting cast. Why her? Why Killer Frost, man? I never understood that. Like, okay, there's a lot of villains that are, by now, you know, owned a redemption arc. Fucking Clayface. Well, can you guess Mr. who Five and Spartan are? Five and Spartan? Yeah, go ahead and guess. Ooh. They're nobody. They're characters they created for the show. <laughs> oh, they're OCs. Yeah. OCs that nobody cares about. Or remembers, for that matter. Fuck them. Holy shit. They decided to perform a fanfiction, This is my OC, do not steal. Fuck them. Fuck you, CW. 44 cable 12. Fuck you, CW. Hey Gizmo, remember Nu Gizmo, remember Nugget Mickey? Oh. Nugget Mickey, Drunken Punk's original character. That was the thing he did? He he had he was bragging about editing a editing legs out of a fucking out of out of Mickey Mouse. Don't you remember when Drunken Punk kept editing? Kept bragging about how he was the best editor, like he's the edit price. Yeah, that was really. Speaking of weird. editing, do you guys remember how how bratty the uh, My Hero Academia fan base is in regards to the anime? Yes. It's like, oh my god, guys! Not everything is going to get one to one ad adapted in in the anime. Just stop. I don't get it, man. It's like, okay, I get the fact that this is practically like an East versus East meets West kind of thing. Huh. I would, you know, it, it's kind of obvious. Oh, wait a obvious. second. It's no. kind of obvious, man. It's... Okay, 
Cisco Ramon is actually a character, a very obscure superhero from the uh, from DC Comics, who okay. originated in Justice League Annual number two, 1984. Wow, that's a deep. Yeah. Cut. Very. We gotta get Mudahar into this plot, into the if, cast. Point that is day. not going to happen, but I would be so down if we could. Yeah. Same I'd here. Love that Maybe guy. Silent Rob too. But if he, ever, if he ever decides to come back online, he has to deal with a lot of real life shit. Huh. Vibe was Silent in Justice Rob. League Unlimited. And, and Young Justice. And if Rob decides to use Discord anyway. Yeah, Silent Rob doesn't. He, he doesn't use Discord anymore for some reason. Vibe was like, in Teen Titans Go and the Harley Quinn show. Huh? Yeah. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, no, I'm just saying Vibe has been in a bunch of stuff. So, that's, uh, that's fucking weird. Because I would have sworn, based on how minor a character or he was when he started in The Flash, that he was just some character they created for the show. But you goddamn pussy. But you goddamn pussy. <laughs> that was weird. That was fucking weird. Yeah, Spartan, Spartan yeah. <laughs> is a character they created for Arrow. Oh shit, guys. Hang on, now that I've said that... Now that I've said that, I have to look this up. Oh yeah, Kevin, Alex, there was actually this one time, I don't know that you... You've never, like, I don't... Okay, yeah, Diggle was created for Arrow. God, what was I gonna say? Um, Sorry. There was act... No, 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 you're fine. I was just trying to remember what I was gonna say. Um... There was actually this one time where Ace Elieri was at his angriest. And Gizmo was there for it, too. Like, I don't know if you've ever... Like, Gizmo, do you remember... Do you remember that? What, the Skype call? The, the Discord call. He was like, fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah, fuck not you. my best. That's not my best, uh... That's and not... then Asa decided to, like... He, when he, he... When he was doing his stream, he revisited that video and he decided to make fun of his own anger. Yeah, so this is when, uh, Drunken Punk, uh, when he... Drunk, when Drunken Punk made fun of kids, uh, went, made fun of Asa as well as his home and his kids and his wife, I legitimately thought that he was just, you know, uh, having, like like a roast of Asa, you know, like just just making fun of him but still loving him at the same time, that kind of thing. Uh, until I realized Damn you know it. that too until I realized too late that he was serious about what he was saying about Asa and the wife and the kids. He he wasn't just he wasn't joking. He wasn't making he wasn't joking. He was straight up making fun of everything that Asa was as well as the kids and the wife. Yeah, and then after the stream, yeah, and then after Gizmo left the uh, voice call, he had to apologize to Asa in a DM. No, not in a DM. I, I legitimate. I, what I did was I called him up on uh, on Skype uh, with Sam Rob in the same call, and I I apologized to the both of them as well as the wife about uh, joining uh, joining in with uh, Punk. Yeah, because I'm gonna, yeah, because I'm gonna link you guys to something like, funny I just saw. Join him. Look at this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Dead Ken. That's hilarious. Yeah, damn. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And then, it, and like months later, um, a when Asa, Rob, and J.K. Tim did a live stream, Asa was like, "I would bet a lot of him." I'm not gonna lie though, that that drama was entertain the drama with Drunken Punk was entertaining as well. Yeah, I, I know about yeah, I, I'm sure it was to everybody else, but it kinda hurt consider it kinda hurt me considering I was in the middle of it too. 
than like a stupid yeah. ass that they thought that he was joking, not outright, you know, making making fun of talking shit to Acer and everything he stood for. Like, As I didn't, for I, what Drunken Punk is doing now, I don't know what she's doing now. Um, yeah, like, she's, she's two trans. years ago, Drunken Punk went trans, became... Became, became a... Became a oh. dank girl. Um, and... She and Asa patched things up. She was on the di she was on Asa Ace Celieri's Discord for a while. Alex, you can actually see so see the messages there too. Um, Damn. So, but you'd have I need to positive motivation far here. Back. Start singing. But... You're the best around. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're the best Just around. Go. No one's gonna ever take you down. Unfortunately, though. Uh, unfortunately, though, there um, a Discord user posted a Long Beach Griffey video, and Dank Girl got offended. I don't know who and any of these left. people are. So Long Beach Griffey is a very was a very known a person down. On, what was it? TikTok Sorry, at first, where he, is, made these, um, whining. where he made these, where he made oh, these TikTok. Little, that's why. Well, at first it was TikTok. I think it was TikTok. I don't remember if he was on TikTok, but on YouTube he made these little sketches uh, where he would play like uh, anime weeaboos, like uh, gangsters and stuff like that, basically making fun of everything. This is uh, like a pro CD sketch where he plays everybody in the same skit. Yeah, he's one of those guys. Uh, what happened? Yeah. It's was, my ass kicking he, outfit, bitch. The the sketch that specifically he's talking about is one where a cop pulls over a tranny and he's trying to figure out if it's a man or a woman dude looks like a lady it's like yeah and unfortunately tank girl got offended and and unfortunately drunken punk who is who now goes by dank girl got offended by it and left the discord in a hub well if you wanna if you're gonna be that much of a fucking snowflake about something but yeah, and I mean, like, and then, like, last August, last August, a Discord user in our, um, in our thing, Mr. DJ Fly High, um, discovers in a video by Ruin Leon, which is entitled Peer Pressuring Someone into Peer Pressuring People into Being Trans as Gross, Dank Girl later. Um, she would later leave a comment saying, I hate, I don't hate the trans community, I hate how the trans community operates. Replace trans community with black, and is it racist? Because it is, hypocrite. Like, she tried to do a gotcha on Ruin Leon. Oh. I'm and, and like that's, I'm sorry, that's Alex. I'm trying to motivate you, but I'm currently getting my ass kicked by Terra because uh -huh. Drunken Punk would say the same thing. She would say, "Yes, there is a lot of problems in the trans community, but whenever, but when somebody else says it, oh well, I guess that's not cool." Like that's what Gizmo and I don't get, and that's what to this day we still. You know don't what? Get. You know one thing I know that. You know one thing I know the um, the Mickey Mouse theme for is is its appearance at the end of um, Full Metal Jacket. Really? Come on, sing the song for Daddy. <sighs> M I C K E Y. M O U S E. Oh, I feel so dirty. That was uh, Darth, Darth Vader uh, singing the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme song. M I C K E Y M O U S C. How about sing the song for Daddy? <laughs> I'm gonna opt out the call, man. I'm gonna go get some meat. U F U C K Y O U R S E L F. I'm gonna opt out the Why call. And, uh, I'll, I was, I'm, I'm gonna opt out the call and uh, I'm gonna get something to eat before I start streaming. 
I'll see you guys later. Oh, uh, you gonna yep. start a stream? I'm, I'm about. Up. I'm just All about right, done. Cool. What was that? Yeah, I think Kevin and Alex are gonna head out in a little bit too, so they might not be here when you get back, Gizmo. No, that's that's fine, man. It's probably late over there. I yeah. might be though. Yeah, I want to watch the second episode of The Last of Us before I go to bed. Yeah, and on yeah. top, yeah, and on top of that, I don't have nearly the motivation to keep playing this game for another few months. So, this is probably going to be the last s time I stream Kingdom Hearts two. Well, it's gonna, well, it's gonna be a taking a while for me to get to the PS two collection because Kingdom Hearts one and two is on is on the stack of games I'm gonna play for streaming. Is it now? Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you have the uh, modified if... versions, or are you just playing the original? I'm literally playing the original that I got years ago. I have, I have the original PS1, late. no, PS2, because they were on the PS2. Nope. I have the I have original PS2 Kingdom Hearts games, but I've never played them. They're really good. I'm Asa currently playing 1.5 right now. Two, I think I have 1.5 somewhere. Later. Actually, no, I don't have 1.5. I got fucker never paid me for my goddamn art yeah fucker, fucker never, never got paid. his art anyways so nah. yeah you have the fucker that never paid you version oh i don't have that one <laughs> movie well, bob got... still owes gallon done money yeah yeah movie bob owes me a hundred dollars plus uh interest. Plus interest i got the i got the car he never sucked me off version i got that one i got the one where uh, i got oh, the that's stuff every never... version I got the never got to do selfie up the ass version. That's got, every version. I got the one. I got uh, never got to beat the shit out of Waka version. Well, wait, you never got to beat up huh. Waka? Oh no, I beat him. I just never got to beat the shit out of him. Why would what? What? I also got the one of where uh, apparently you get to just you know make Riku just uh, stick his keyblade up his ass for being irrelevant <laughs> the entire fucking game of the first time. But, but okay. I, I don't follow. Gee, he didn't help you. He had his own keyblade. When? How? He didn't Pre order WWE 2K23 and get Bad Bunny as a playable character. Who what? the fuck Wait, is what? Bad Bunny? What? 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 Sounds what? like a uh, spam bot. Yeah, I know. Bad Bunny. Who the fuck is Bad Bunny? I looked that up. Now you know it's a good bunny, except bad. No. Bad, yeah. Oh, here you go. Bad Bunny is a Puerto Rican rapper. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Why is a rapper... We had the Terminator playable in one of them. I mean, I guess it's the same reason why, uh... Uh... That other guy is in the wrestling game what was his name the guy with the backwards cap red cap fuck uh carl durst or whatever the fuck oh fred durst fred durst yeah oh, wow. oh wait a minute wrong guy yeah i was gonna say that do not that's david draymond do not mistake david draymond for that guy <laughs> david <laughs> you want to know what david draymond ended up saying about the um about that about the about the Fred Durst had a baby you get Danny Antonucci the creator of Ed and Eddie Alex do you remember you also, get, you also get the guy who voiced Ed as well as the main villain in Fatal Fury the motion picture Alex yeah you want to know what David Draymond said about that sound he said that's gonna be etched on my goddamn tombstone. Here lies yeah. David Draven. Oh wow! Yeah. I am so thankful. Uh, in, I am so thankful so in Kingdom a... Hearts three that uh, we actually get to explore our more of of Hercules's world as opposed to just freaking in the as opposed to just the freaking yeah, Olympus. Yeah, two K sixteen. The Terminator was a playable character in. Well, not just the Terminator, like Schwarzenegger himself. Apparently, there was like oh, two. Yeah. Versions. Two We're versions the gladding, gladding, the T1 though. and T2 version. Hercules. We definitely gotta do that movie at some point, Alex. 
The Terminator? Also, no, Hercules. Hercules. Y'all gotta watch oh, yeah. Puss in Boots The Last you. Wish. I'm telling oh, you, yeah. it is fucking great. Oh, I plan on So, are you... Welcome. We'll be waiting for me. But the hey, crowds will cheer when they see my face. Yeah, and by like the way, uh, after uh, after Mario Party, after Mario Party next month, um, Gizmo, we're probably gonna either be doing Mario some rounds of Mario Kart Eight or or Smash Brothers. Yeah, I don't have Mario Kart Eight, man. Sorry. I have well, Ultimate. Though. Smash it is then, I guess. Yes, we'll have to settle in Smash. Little Mac, my main, and Terry's my main DLC too. Do you have all the DLC? Oh, hell yeah, I do. Why wouldn't I? Just making sure. So that means you have the guy that I'm playing as right now. You gotta be a bit more specific than that. I'm playing Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yes. Do you okay. remember the disappointment that is Kingdom Hearts on Cloud? Yes. Because why the fuck would you put that on Cloud? When you can just yeah. get the damn PS2 versions and put them on there! You lazy cunts! The PS2 or it yeah, this is a game that originally ran on the PS2 and it runs like shit on the Switch, even with the cloud shit. Or probably because of the cloud shit, let's Why does and it runs at 60 get, frames per second on the PlayStation 4? Get your PS2 versions and put it on the Switch. You don't have to be like, oh, well, you know, the most advanced graphics is the one that you put up my ass. Who cares? I don't give a damn about graphics. Let me play the damn game on Switch. I don't care if it's like one frame per second, as long as you make it work on the damn thing. <sighs> well, anyway. Oh, but what about the? But it has to look great, yeah. On, on the PS5, maybe. I don't, well, give, I don't care if it looks good on Switch. Well, anyway. As long as I can play it. Well, anyway, unfortunately, this will be my last stream of Kingdom Hearts 2. So next time we do Kingdom Hearts, we will be doing in the commentary on Recoded. It's cutscenes <laughs> how do you feel about that alex <laughs> yeah okay i have a feeling i'm probably going to be just as lost as i was during that one uh that was a fucking flip phone mobile game turned into a ds game and then just turn into a cutscene compilation on the PlayStation 3, 4, well, th and 4. 3, 5, 8 Days Over 2 was a was a DS game, not a mobile game, but yeah. Oh, recoded. Oh, recoded. recoded. It was originally yeah. coded, and then it got turned into recoded. On the DS. Mm -hmm. So at first, that was a mobile phone flip oh, game. Fuck. Flip phone mobile so, game. And then it was a Okay, so WWE 2K19. Playable characters. AJ Styles Gold. Why is AJ... St we have regular AJ Styles, and then we have AJ Styles Gold. Why is this a playable character? Why is this a game? Have I stopped having faith in the, the WWE 2K games after 2K17. Suplex oh, City. Because not only did they leave a lot of old-school superstars out, but the gameplay felt fucking worse. The graphics looked worse. I was not able to get a fucking refund. El Mago, an original character created, unlocked by my career mode, but in 2K19. Not able to get a refund on 2K18, the fucking bastards. Baron Blade, original character created, unlocked via my career mode. And, uh, it's not Aaron Blade, it's Aaron Blade. Cole Quinn, original character, unlocked via my career mode. It's not Cole Quinn, it's Cole Quinn. <laughs> what on earth are you guys on about? Those are original characters made specifically for that game, and the thing is, they didn't... Yeah, the voice, voice, the in-game voiceover is abysmal. Oh, you it mean, is. Oh, you mean like... Uh... Is, Nugget, is Nugget Mickey in the game? <laughs> what the fuck? That's an Nugget Mickey. Pro, probably via, you know, create a wrestler. I, 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 I well, any, well, anyway, if, hey, it's been a fun ride in Kingdom Hearts 2, and I'm afraid I gotta, gotta move on to other games, because after Kingdom, because after Recoded, I'm gonna be taking a break from Kingdom Hearts and playing Paper Mario. Ben's yeah, back. Not, 
I'm talking about the original Paper Mario, not what, the What the fuck? Yeah. Not, not the goddamn, uh... Yeah! The Sticker Star game. I'm not... I don't have the ability to record that game! Yeah! Oh, oh counter card. What the fuck is this? I don't... I can't get one! Guys, look at the broadcast, chat. What the fuck is this? Let's see. What in the fuck is that? I don't know. It's a rib? The original character unlocked via my career mode. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, stop streaming now, so...